This is Captain Moran. For those pilots and crew joining the Hermes from various venues, welcome aboard. For those from the Wellington, our condolences for the loss of your vessel. She was a good ship. You joined 4,000 of the finest crew and pilots anywhere in the Terran fleet. With nine combat squadrons and six escorting warships, the Hermes Battle Group is one of the most powerful strike groups in the Vega sector. Our battle record and reputation speak for us. Our comrades respect us. Our enemies fear us. I do not know what the news networks have been broadcasting, but I will be frank with you. The war is at a stalemate. The Navy has been forced to deploy outdated light carriers to the front in an effort to replace the recently sustained losses, most notably among them, the carriers lost during the Battle of Earth. Being one of the few confed fleet carriers in this quadrant, we make a big and juicy target. Needless to say, the Kelrathi have placed a high priority on the destruction of our carrier. They enjoy an overwhelming advantage in numbers of fighters of all classes and capital ships. Kilrathi have the upper hand, and they know it. During the past two weeks, we've been in the Chengdu system battling a Kilrathi battle group centered around a heavy carrier KIS Gapthrak. During our skirmishes, we have taken out a heavy cruiser, two destroyers, and half of her fighter complement. We've also put three torpedoes into the gap track, forcing her to retreat back to a Kilrathi naval base. We're now positioned in the Brimstone system to hunt down a few Kilrathi raiders. Sadly, at 0414 hours today, Rear Admiral Callahan, our battle group commander, succumbed to injuries he received during the last attack on our ship. Funeral proceedings will be announced at a later date. We can all honor his memory by continuing to carry out our duties effectively and efficiently. Always a point of pride for Admiral Callahan. One more thing. A note to the current members of the 811th Bloodhounds. Colonel Walker has appointed Major Kenny Baas to your vacant squadron leader position. Even our most experienced pilots will no doubt learn much under the tutelage of such a decorated combat veteran. Moran out. I am Major Boz, the new squadron leader for the Bloodhounds. Some of you might already know me from our time on the Wellington. Our squadron is on rotation for the next patrol duty. I will be pairing up the new pilots with veterans from the squadron so the newcomers can be broken in. Sandman, you will be assigned to Grey Wolf. You two will be Alpha Wing and patrol the Hermes right flank in a standard three-point diamond patrol. Sweep these three nav points, then head back to the Hermes. Use your best judgment out there. Dispatch anything your Hellcats can take on. But if you find anything big out there, you are ordered to report back with the information. Do not engage it. Information in the battlefield is power, and far outweighs you getting killed. Bravo Wing will consist of... Greetings, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Commander Kate Sweeney here. I run the switchboard. Listen to what I say, don't give me attitude, and we'll get along just fine. Alpha Wing, you have clearance for launch. Be wary of nearby traffic. Four arrows on cap and one shuttle outbound. Confirming. Establishing flight coordinates now. Routine patrol, ready to go. No patrol is routine, Dorothy. I would prefer if you didn't call me that. Suit yourself, Toto. I think I'd prefer Dorothy after all. Atta boy. Now, set a course for the next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. Firing line. Enemy 
ship's incoming. Die, you burnish freak! Proceed to next waypoint. Hey Viper, what's going on? Uh, same old, same old. Making sure this flying bullseye gets out of the system, okay? They're playing guard dog in a gated community. Apparently, this suburb's going downhill. We ran into some cats at our last nav point. Thanks for the heads up. Dorothy set course for nav 3. Proceed to next waypoint. up some funky signals at the edge of my scope. You detecting that? Yes, sir, I am. Very well. Better check it out. I'm updating your nav computer with the new location for nav 4. Proceed to next waypoint. Sensors say one light carrier and one destroyer. Dorothy, do not attack those captions. Fighters are fair game. so the cats won't find the Hermes position. Proceed to next waypoint. Are they still on our tail? I doubt it. Anyway, set course back for the Hermes. Proceed to next waypoint.
Mission complete. Hermes Control, this is Alpha Flight. We've come across a light carrier and her destroyer escort. Roger that, Lieutenant. I'm relaying your report to the Colonel. How did the new pilot do? Well, he came back alive. Enough said. Very well. Alpha Wing, you have clearance to land. Good job on the patrol work, Lieutenants. Not only did you sweep all the nav points of Kilrathi fighters, you stumbled upon the location of a Kilrathi light carrier and brought that information back alive. Intel has identified the Kilrathi light carrier as the KIS Tharkmar and the destroyer as the KIS Dyagyug. These two have been driving the local defense forces up the wall. Rest assured, we'll be planning offensive operations in the next few hours. Dismissed. <laughs> Since we confirmed the location of the KIS Tharkmar, Colonel Walker has been sending wings from the other squadrons to flush out her fighter complement. We've got our fighters down to size, and now it's time to drop the hammer. We are sending in a strike to finish her off. Alpha Wing will be me, Phalanx, Grey Wolf, and Sandman. I will be the flight leader and overall command of the strike. Our flight of four Hellcats will provide primary fighter cover. First, we will head to Nav-1 and sweep out the few remaining fighters that Tharkmar has on her decks. Once that is done, we will proceed to Nav-2, where the carrier has retreated toward the Dakota jump point. Bravo Wing, a trio of Thunderbolts from the Mudshark Squadron will be there to provide additional fighter cover if needed, but their main job is to go after the Tharkmar's destroyer escort. If they need a hand, we will help them out. Our Hellcats and Thunderbolts only have a few minutes to clear out all enemy fighters and defenses. When that time is up, Charlie Wing, consisting of two longbows from the William Tell Squadron, will enter the combat area and commence their torpedo runs against the Tharkmar. When all is done, we will return to the Hermes via Nav-3, as not to reveal her location to any cats in the area. Bloodhounds, Mud Sharks, you have clearance to launch. Form on my wing. You guys know the drill. Set autopilots for Nav-1. Sandman, I'm making you the leader of Alpha Flight. I'll still be in overall command of the mission, but I want to see how you can lead a four-plane flight in combat. You really think that's a good idea? Grey Wolf, cool it. I just want to see what he's made of. Proceed to next waypoint. Fighters on approach. Take it to them. No way not to fight this battle, me. Scum. to nav two. Proceed to next waypoint. Enemy 
ship sighted. Looks like we're right on time. Looks like that destroyer's shield generators are down. Mud sharks, it's all yours. Roger that. Psychopath, Avatar, do not attack. That destroyer is mine. Yeah, whatever. We'll keep the little ones off you. Of course, Captain. You selfish little bastard. I heard that, Lieutenant. I'm reporting you to Major Delaney as soon as this is over. Looks like the cat's laid out the red carpet. Let's not keep them waiting, boys. Half dozen fighters, dark cats. No match for our Hellcats. Bloodhounds, take out that fighter cover. Open fire on my target. Break and attack. Locked in. Ease mine. Acceleration to attack speed. Let's see how eager they are to die. to take this opportunity to send my condolences to the Emperor. Does anyone know where we can send flowers? Or maybe one of those rubber mice? Open fire on my target! Bloodhound Squadron, this is the William Tells. We're commencing our torpedo run. Cover us if you can. Go after his turrets! You heard the man. I can take down those turrets. Watch and learn.
Oh yeah, scratch one flat top. I doubt Dorothy. That was just a cheap escort job. Form up on me. Sure thing. Major, I read multiple disturbances at the jump point. Kilrathi, one heavy carrier, Bantakara class, two heavy cruisers, four destroyers, two corvettes. Well, somehow they don't look happy to see us. We've already done our job. All fighters withdraw. Proceed to next waypoint. Nobody's home. All pilots, set course for the Hermes. Proceed to next waypoint. Mission complete. Sandman, you're first in the cycle. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. Welcome back, pilots. Nice job on that little carrier. You are cleared to land. Good job out there, bloodhounds. The destruction of the Kilrathi light carrier would have wrestled this system back under Confederation control. However, the arrival of the new heavy carrier group has spoiled those plans. We've identified the Kilrathi heavy carrier as the KIS to Plosk. Intelligence reports that the commander of that vessel has a bone to pick with Captain Moran. Apparently these two go way back. Needless to say, Tactical has ascertained that this Kilrathi will follow us anywhere to restore his honor. To that I say, bring it on. There will be a funeral for Captain Paul McCoy on the flight deck at 1800 hours. Uniform is Class A dress blues. Until then, we'll remain on standby alert. Dismissed. You all heard the scramble alarm, so we have to make this quick. Recon flights from the Sparrowhawk Squadron report the KIS to Flask has all but cleared his flight decks, and they will be here within the hour. Our recon patrols have already entered engagements with Kilrathi scouts. To protect the carrier, Colonel Walker is ordering a magnum launch, all available fighters up. Ships from the other fighter squadrons are fanning out from the Hermes to form a main defensive perimeter. Others are going to intercept these Kilrathi destroyers, which are fast approaching missile launch range. We Bloodhounds are pulling point defense. Our job is simple. We are to stand guard over the Hermes and her escorts. We will coordinate our defense with the other squadrons and escorts of the battle group. Anything that gets past our main defense force, we will take out. No questions asked. Let's get to it. Bloodhounds, you are cleared for launch. It's good to know our own personal guard dogs are on duty. Sweeney, if we're dogs, can I lay on your lap when this is all over? Head in the game, mister. Sandman, are you receiving this laser link? I hear you, sir. I want you being the wing leader again. I saw you command during the raid. Now I want to see how you do it in the point defense situation. Major Hitchy, those destroyers are almost in missile range. Blow them out of my sky. Roger that, Colonel. All units, the enemy strike force is broken into several groups and are re to hit us from different directions. Major Boss, the techs are preparing to bring the other half of your squadron up. They will be ready in a few minutes. This is Great White Squadron covering Gamma Quadrant. 
We've got enemy fighters and bombers moving into our area. We're breaking formation to engage. Those Archer Squadron covering Delta Quadrant. We have sighted hostiles. This is Mud Shark Leader in the Beta Quadrant. We are engaging the enemy. Burma Tiger Squadron, engaging enemy fighters in Alpha Quadrant. So, the battle to defend our carrier has begun. Again, I might add. Again? Yeah, we pulled point defense duty last week. That was our Rear Admiral Callahan got mortally wounded. Thanks to Grey Wolf. Hey pal, it wasn't my fault. I was kidding, Grey. Major Gonzalez really botched that last one. Paid for it with his life. Can it, you guys? We wait till any Kilrathi get past the perimeter. Till then, keep your mouth shut. More pop down with frothy escorts and broke it through our defense perimeter. Tally ho, Major. Bombers ahoy. Go for the bombers first. Break and attack. Break formation and open fire. I'm breaking formation. Target. I'm switching to your target. formation and open fire. I'm breaking formation. Attack my target. I'm switching to your target. up on me. Got that. This is Great White Leader. My exec has been shot down. Repeat, my exec has been shot down. I think he managed to eject. Prepare to send out SAR. What in blue blazes is going on over there, Jaws? We took down a couple of fighters, but no bomber kills. Headed in your direction. Over. Bombers are starting their torpedo runs. Stop them. Attack my target! I'm switching to your target. Attack my target! I'm switching to your target. <laughs> that was brilliant. Bollocks, I'm 
on my wing. Got that. Beta quadrant secure. Hirathi team neutralized. Casualty report, Mud Shark leader. Three down. No ejects. War Jag, Ice Blade, and Foxtrot. Gauze here. All Kilrathi in our region are gone. Have a quadrant secure. Hermes, the Kilrathi are ripping us to pieces. We need assistance. Burma Tigers, come in. Burma Tigers, respond. Spider Wing, can anyone report on the Burma Tiger's status? We can't see them from here due to the jamming. This is Mud Shark 3. Four from the Burma's Tigers have been destroyed. The rest of the squadron's in trouble. Lieutenant, what about the bombers? They're still en route. We're picking up bombers and escorts. <laughs> Attack my target! I'm switching to your target. Bloodhounds, you do understand that when we are playing defense, if your mission is not successful, you won't have a carrier to stand on, right? I swear you people are damn lucky to still have a deck beneath your feet. I know this isn't going to sit well with many of you who have fought hard for this piece of space, but Captain Moran has been ordered by HQ to take the battle group into Vega and abandon Brimstone for the time being. Ours is not the reason why. We're keeping all squadrons on alert. We have some travel ahead of us to the Vega jump point. And if I know the cats, they'll want to give us a noisy send-off. Dismissed. Greetings, Sandman. I am Lieutenant Colonel Clear, exo of the Hermes Fighter Wing, and squadron leader of the William Tells. Time is of the essence here, and I will make this fast. You have temporarily been assigned to us because we need a replacement pilot to fill in for one of our own in sickbay. Major Bars recommended you in light of your performance against the Pirate Frigate from your last assignment. Please, take a seat, and we'll begin the briefing. This morning, the other squadrons were able to beat back the Kilrathi attack on the Hermes. This strike bought enough time for half a dozen cruisers and destroyers to block the Vega jump point, which we are fast approaching. Intel believes this blockade is made up of the remainder of the Gapthrak battle group we fought in Chengdu. Meanwhile, the newly arrived to past battle group is trailing us and is starting to regroup. We have no choice but to run the blockade into Vega. Colonel Walker is deploying the William Tells to try and soften up the escorts as much as possible before the Hermes battle group arrives. If the outright destruction of a capship seems unlikely, go for a firepower kill. Target the capship's turrets if needed. Even better, try to take out the weapon's control system. Their accuracy will drop drastically. 
Because our longbows are the only jump-capable fighting spacecraft under Hermes, we will have no fighter escort. We will stay in the system until the Hermes and her battle group jumps out. Only then we will retreat out of Brimstone. If we encounter hostile fighters, we're on our own. Major Ramius will be commanding Alpha Wing with Sandman and Snipes on his wing. I will command Bravo with Summoner and Pepsi. Good luck and good hunting. William Tells, you are clear for launch. I'll keep the comm line open so you'll always be up to date. Good luck. Sweeney, what's the status of the lost battle group? We've temporarily lost sensor contact due to ECM, but they were in hot pursuit. We're not going to have a lot of wiggle room on our timing. Thank you, Miss Sweeney. All bombers, form on me and set autopilot for jump point. Proceed to next waypoint.
on your six. Bogey is down. assistance. He's all over me, requesting assistance.
jump station's alarm. I've got bogeys all over me, requesting assistance. The Hermes has successfully jumped out. Some new sensor contact. It looks like we've got several dozen Kilrathi fighters converging on our position. Fighters from the Dubois battle group. All longboats jump out now. William tells. I'm sorry about Colonel Plyer and your squad mates. You are cleared to land. Mission complete. Tells. I'm sure Colonel Clear would be as proud of you as I am today. At the very least, we got out alive and took down a few capital ships doing so too, I might add. We did lose a destroyer, along with Colonel Clear and Lieutenants Pletcher and Baronet. But considering what was at stake, it could have been worse. Much worse. The Kalrathi haven't followed us through the jump point yet. I have been asked to take over the William Tells as acting CO. I would like to thank you personally, Sandman, for helping us out. Although Major Boss wants you back in his unit ASAP, I'd be happy to have you in my squadron again anytime. Funeral arrangements for all lost today will be announced shortly. William Tells, dismissed. <laughs> We have received some disturbing news. 
Science crew aboard the La Belle Dame Saint Merci station was in the middle of observing what appeared to be the formation of a new jump point. The information they were gathering could have led to numerous scientific and technological breakthroughs. Their observations were cut short when they were attacked by the Kilrathi, who had apparently been using a nearby nebula to hide their presence. The Kilrathi captured the station, killing much of the crew in the process, and then torturing the rest to death. The Kilrathi then abandoned the station and destroyed it. This was a senseless act of violence against a civilian target with no military value whatsoever. This is the 18th such occurrence in the last two years. Remember that this is the enemy we face, pilots. We have successfully jumped into the Vegas system, which holds particular importance to the war effort. 7th Fleet Command has ordered us to defend the system, which has come under several attacks by small Kilrathi forces in the past few weeks. As you all know, the Vegas system is the capital of the Vegas sector and is the biggest industrial, business, and trading hub we have in the sector. Its loss or disruption would deliver a crippling blow to the economy of the whole sector. We must do all that we can to prevent it from being overrun. It seems likely from the Kilrathi's recent maneuvers in Brimstone, reports of suspected Kilrathi jump activity in Trimble, and the probing attacks into Vega, that the cats are on the move and may be planning some major operations in the near future. While each of these could represent separate Kilrathi initiatives, we have to consider the possibility that this buildup might mean something bigger will happen in one of these systems soon. However, we have very limited intel about current Kilrathi operations in this sector. One thing is clear. CONFED is in a vulnerable position here in Vega since we have evidence of Kilrathi presence in three adjacent systems, Brimstone, Alcor, and Trimble. Moran out. All right, everyone, settle down. We're here in the Vega system to help out the local defense forces at Fort Crockett, the naval base in this system. The in-system security pilots have been putting up a brave stand against Kilrathi raiders for the better part of the week, but they're still unable to pinpoint the exact location of their origin. Sandman and Grey Wolf will be Alpha Wing. You will launch and rendezvous with a pair of ISS Sabres at NAV-1. You will complete a standard three-point patrol of this area, eliminating any contacts you may find. When you are finished, return to the Hermes. Cat Killer and Zora will be Bravo. You're cleared for launch, Lieutenant. ISS units are waiting for you at Fort Crockett. Let's launch it, Northy. Proceed to next waypoint.
Proceed to next waypoint. This is Alpha Element from the Hermes. Pleased to meet you. Greetings, Hellcats. We appreciate the hand. What's this I hear about you ISS boys not being up to the task? One of our sensor buoys detected the Kilrathi Raider Force out here late yesterday. We're here to find it and kill it. We're just depending on you for cover. Those strike sabers are hot machines, especially against some light raiders. What's the problem? Warp rockets running low on fuel and supplies. Right now we're only carrying half ordnance. Huh. So you're a day late and a dollar short? What's a dollar? <laughs> Forget it. Alpha Wing, Proceed we're at your disposal. Tell us what we've got to do. Let's punch it. Let's keep the children's sandbox safe from the bullies, Sandman. Break in attack. Move to the next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. Nobody home. Proceed to next waypoint.
distress call from another patrol, Alpha. Patching it through. We're cracking! This is ISS Hotel Flight! We're in trouble! Send help! Oh my god! It's him! Alpha Wing, we have lost contact with an ISS unit. You are ordered into the area to assist. I'm transmitting coordinates now. Let's do it. Set course. Proceed to next waypoint. Have you ever fought a Kilrathi ace before? Yeah. And what happened? He destroyed my carrier. Just fought with an ace. I'm so gonna score with this story. Sandman, let's head back to the Hermes. ISS unit, we're done using you. You can head home. Proceed to next waypoint. Mission complete. Request clearance to land, TCS Hermes. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Not only have you taken out a small rating force, but you gave Fireclaw a run for his money. Good work. You are cleared to land. Lieutenants, excellent job on your patrol. You tangled with that ace fire claw and both of you survived. That's not something many pilots can brag about. The ISS boys flying the super ferrets and hotel flight learned that the hard way. Don't be too discouraged about fire claw escaping your grasp. His psych profile indicates that he's nothing more than a coward, running when the fight doesn't become fun for him anymore. A flight of arrows were dispatched along his last vector. The only thing they picked up were jump traces consistent with a light carrier or heavy cruiser at the Trimble jump point. Rest assured, one day, Fireclaw's time will come. It's just a question of when. Even though we believe this constituted the largest portion of the raiders, we're staying in system to assist cleaning up any stragglers. Again, good work today, gentlemen. <laughs> We are on red alert. We have just lost contact with Fort Crockett. There seems to be a jamming field present in the area, and we haven't been able to contact the naval base. It appears that Fireclaw's raiders were not the only foxes in the henhouse. 
Colonel Walker has assigned our squadron to re-establish communication with Fort Crockett. I'm leading Alpha Flight to the Starbase. Phalanx, Grey Wolf, and Sandman will be my wingmen. We are to proceed directly from the Hermes to Fort Crockett and Nav-1 and rendezvous with their defense forces. Once on station, we will ascertain the situation and report back to the Hermes. Let's get to it. Alpha, you are cleared for takeoff. for NAV-1. Proceed to next waypoint. Thanks for the assist, Hellcats. Hermes Control, this is Boss. Do you read me? We do, Major. What's your status report? Fort Crockett has come under attack by some lighter fighters. Well, the Zartov seems much too important to waste on such a limited raid. Keep us advised, Major. Stay on station. We're picking up Pakton bombers with escorts. Do something about them! Well, what have we here? Looks like the cats want to make some trouble.
Cats want to make some trouble. Stupid cats, they're giving me some trouble. That's right, you filthy cat. Burn. Well, what have we here? Looks like the cats want to make some trouble. Job, Squadron. Thanks for the assist, Space Force. We couldn't have done it without you. Pleasure was all ours. Hermes Control, this is Alpha. The Karathi attack force has been destroyed. All is quiet for now, but we're low on fuel and missiles. Excellent work, Major. You can return to base to rearm and refuel. Bravo Wing is only minutes away from your position. All right, Bloodhounds. Form on my wing. Time for a pit stop. Mission complete. Proceed to next waypoint. What is it, Phalanx? Why did you disengage autopilot? I'm getting some strange readings on the edge of my scope on the far side of Fort Crockett, sir. Yeah, I'm getting it as well. Targeting scanner's not able to get a clear identification yet. Hermes pilots, we're picking up two heavy carriers and a dozen escorts. Repeat, two heavy carriers and a dozen escorts. Hermes control, we have cat task force in the vicinity of Fort Crockett. Two heavy carriers plus escorts. Request reinforcements and bomber support. Over. Hermes fighters, our radar is detecting a cap ship missile launch from the Kilrothi cruisers. We need your help. Major, I'm picking up over 30 cap ship missiles launched at the base. Estimated time to impact, 90 seconds. Major, negative on your request for support. Colonel Walker's ordering Bravo Wing back to the Hermes. 
Hermes, and you are ordered to withdraw. Hermes fighters, we are defenseless here. We're all going to die. Major, we can try to intercept those cap ship missiles. Yeah, kid, we'll arrive without fuel, without missiles, and those fighters will jump us. We'll be stardust before you know it. Estimated time to impact, 60 seconds. Hermes fighters, we're on our knees begging you for help. Do something, please. What do we do, sir? You stay on my wing. Bloodhound leader, you are ordered to withdraw immediately. Jesus Christ. We have over 10,000 people on this base. Women and children. They'll die if you don't do something quickly. Major Boss, this is a direct order. Withdraw your squadron. There's nothing more you can do for them, son. Estimated time to impact 30 seconds. Bloodhounds, retreat. Just do it. Oh my lord. We're all going to die. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with me. Major, the ISS pilots are not retreating. ISS pilots, withdraw. Sacrificing yourselves will accomplish nothing. Vega is our home, Major. Fort Crockett falls, and there's not anything standing between the cats and our homes. We have to try. I read you, ISS. Good luck. Proceed to next waypoint. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. My sympathies, Bloodhounds. What a horrible thing to have to stand by and watch. We'll get those bastards, just wait. You are cleared to land. Bloodhounds, there was nothing we could have done for Fort Crockett. Even if we did take down the missiles, their fighters would have either jumped us or their warships would have closed in for a gun bombardment. Either way, we would have thrown our lives away for nothing. Any way you look at it, we were had. The Raider force we chased out of the system before was only a scout unit, and they diverted our attention long enough for the other Kilrathi task force to make their move. Due to the Kilrathi's commitment of two carriers and the importance of defending Vega, we've sent Torgo HQ a request for reinforcements. If HQ grants our request, we will be able to mount a counterattack. Until then, try to push Fort Crockett out of your minds. If we don't get our heads out of our asses, we'll lose a lot more in the next few days. Dismissed. A recon flight from the Hills Archers achieved a complete scan of the Kilrathi fleet. We've identified two heavy carriers, five cruisers, eight destroyers, four corvettes, and four troop transports. We can assume this is an invasion force, and complete control of the Vega system is their goal. With the loss of Fort Crockett, we can also assume the Kilrathi's next plans are to directly attack the main human city on Vega Prime, but the Kilrathi task force hasn't set a direct course to Vega Prime yet and Intel has ascertained why. They don't yet have enough troops to take the planet. 
The Hell's Archers recorded the jump transits of another convoy of trooper transports into the system. The convoy is escorted by a unit of heavy fighters and is only hours from rendezvousing with the Kilrathi fleet. Even though we haven't received any response from HQ about reinforcements, we will commence a preemptive raid on the convoy before they hook up with their carriers. If we can wipe out this convoy, we can seriously hinder the Kilrathi's ability to take Vega Prime outright. The Bloodhounds and the Mudsharks will be working together for this mission. Phalanx will be the leader of Alpha Flight and will be in command of this strike. You are to engage any fighter escort while the Thunderbolts and Bravo, led by Psychopath, will attack the convoy. Dismissed. Alpha and Bravo Flight, you are cleared for takeoff. and engage hostiles. Turn into formation and proceed to NAV 2. Proceed to next waypoint. on the scope. Repeat. Bandits inbound.
Area clear. No convoy. Where is it? Bravo, do you have anything? I'm picking up some weak signals not too far away from here. I'm sending you the coordinates. You think it's there? I do. Okay, set new course for NOV-3. Proceed to next waypoint. Sweet Jesus, I'm picking up five fat troop transports. Alpha, break an attack. Bravo, the convoy's all yours. Bravo, initiate attack plan Delta. Finishing off the convoy.
Psychopath, I've got some large readings at the far end of my scope. You getting that? Roger. Same here. Phalanx, you think we should check it out? Why not? Army's control, we've picked up some sensor ghosts at extremely long range. Identity is unknown, could be Karathi reinforcements. Requesting permission to take a closer look. Roger that, Captain. You have permission to proceed. Be careful. I'm always careful, Miss Sweeney. Alpha, I've already updated your coordinates. Proceed to next waypoint. Flagship of the Seventh Fleet? The one and only. At your service. I take it the Kilrathi attempted to set up a picket force here? Attempted would be the key word, Flyboy. We'll rendezvous with your carrier in a bit. We've got this area covered. You're free to go home, boys. Proceed to next waypoint. Complete. No place like home. Repeat that again, Dorothy. Oh, I'm just gonna... Fail. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. Welcome back, Sandman. Always good to see another carrier, but you are absolutely correct. There's no place like the Hermes. You are cleared to land. Congratulations, gentlemen. You may have single-handedly warded off a full-scale planetary invasion. Thanks to you, 5,000 Kilrathi troops can cross making Vega Prime their own personal litter box off their list of things to do before they die. Now that we have some support, we have a chance to turn this entire cat invasion plan on its ear. Sandman, what happened to Don was not your fault, it was hers. She disobeyed your orders and she paid the price. Keep this in mind for the future. As a wing leader, you have authority over your charges, but once you fly subordinate to someone else, you obey his orders to the letter. Don't get too comfortable. With the Bradshaw now in the system, expect big things to take place quickly. Dismissed. Acknowledging our request for reinforcements, 7th Fleet Command authorized the deployment of the Bradshaw Battle Group to the Vega system under the command of Admiral Jackson. We now have an equivalent force to challenge the Kilrathi's two heavy carriers. I'm sorry to report that our downing of those troop ships was not enough to discourage the cats from this invasion. Recon fighters from the Bradshaw report the Kilrathi fleet heading at flank speed toward Vega Prime with the remaining troop transports in tow. The Hermes and the Bradshaw will be launching an alpha strike within the hour. If we can attack them before they are ready, maybe it'll force them to deploy their dropships early and keep the bulk of their forces for fleet protection. Cat Killer will be leading the majority of our squadron under Colonel Walker in the upcoming strike. Viper, Grey Wolf, Sandman, and I will be working with the Bradshaw's Valkyrie unit. They are an elite unit, boasting one of the highest kill ratios in the fleet. We will rendezvous with them at NAV-1. From there, we will hide in our polar orbit above Vega Prime far away from the main battle. Our job is to intercept any dropships the Kilrathi try to land. We're going to finish what we started with those troop ships. Let's show those cats we won't tolerate one hairy paw in our soil. Dismissed. You are cleared for launch.
Cavalry Squadron is waiting for you at Nav 1. If you don't like classical music, I hope you brought your earplugs. What does that mean? Just wait and see. Proceed to next waypoint. you guys really are. Is that a challenge, Major? Maybe. Well, who knew the Major knew how to flirt? Greywolf, maintain radio silence. All units, looks like the cats are taking the bait. They're launching missiles and committing dropships while keeping most of their forces for defense. Colonel Wagner, I've plotted the optimal intercept point for the Proceed missiles. Transmitting coordinates. Point. Missiles. Analysis reads as standard antimatter tip. This is nothing. All units break an attack. Save your missiles. Intercept those missiles before they reach Vega's atmosphere. Missile strike neutralized, and we're just getting warmed up. Colonel Wagner, the dropships have changed their course. They're now closing on the planet fast. Valkyrie and Bloodhound squadrons, proceed to NAV-3, then NAV-4. Follow this vector and you should be able to intercept the dropships in the upper atmosphere. 
That's what I'm talking about. The hotter the better, Major. I thought I told you. Radio silence. This could get hot. Are you ready for this, Colonel? Proceed to next waypoint. Colonel Wagner, looks like we finally caught up with them. We've got drop chips and fighter escort, 12 o'clock high. Time for the final showdown. Major Fanicky, is the music ready? Yes, ma'am. It's good to go. Music? We got the idea from an old holodid. We played this certain music track over the Kilrathi's radio frequency when we attacked. Sykes the Kilrathi out. We love it. Jesus. And I thought our squadron had issues. They give the elite squadrons a bit more leeway. They'll tolerate it as long as we keep raking in the kills. All units, combat spread. Play the music. I can't freaking believe this. All units, break and attack. of those Kitty Marines are in each dropship? About a hundred. It will take. Man, I'm just a mass murderer today. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> Objective is almost complete. Most of them are gone. You heard the lady. Let's finish the job.
Mission complete. This is Valkyrie. Enemy assault force destroyed. Good work, people. We just got word on the Alpha Strike. We destroyed four squadrons of fighters and nailed three capital ships. Any carrier kills? We've got two torpedo hits on one, but the cats are abandoning the fight and heading for the jump point. Excellent. Will we send a second wave? The cats are retreating as fast as they can, but we'll be launching another strike before they can make their exit. If you return to base fast enough, you'll get to be in it. That's a wrap, people. They're going to feel the hurt now. Bloodhounds, we are done using you. Damn. She trades quips with you, fights side by side, and doesn't even say goodbye. Major, do you feel used? Radio silence! Proceed to next waypoint. Need clearance, DCS Hermes. Alpha Wing. Looks like the Kilrathi are backing off. How was it working with the Valkyrie Squadron? It was... interesting. I'll bet. You have clearance to land. We are becoming regular ground shoot busters, aren't we, Bloodhounds? Too bad they don't award kills by the cat instead of by the ship. We'd be aces a dozen times over. Well done to all. I'll say one thing for the Valkyries. Eccentric as hell, but they get the job done. Keep it frosty, gentlemen. I want everyone to report back here in half an hour. I'm about to attend a briefing with Colonel Walker to go over our role in this follow-up strike. See you in 30 mics. Dismissed. We now know why the Kilrathi withdrew so fast. Two more Kilrathi carriers have joined the party, and the combined fleet is regrouped and is charging in towards our own forces. Sorry, pilots. Outnumbered two to one. We cannot stand up to that kind of firepower. Confed HQ has ordered us to abandon the system and retreat. Apparently in the Brass's mind, the Bradshaw and the Hermes are more important to the war effort than our citizens. Our carriers must live to fight another day. We've already split from the Bradshaw, and both carriers will be withdrawing to two separate jump points. On a brighter note, the Hermes and the Bradshaw are launching a combined alpha strike to knock the Kilrathi fleet off guard, but we don't know how long the cats will play along. The colonists on Vega Prime are evacuating as many people off the planet as they can. Captain Moran has ordered us to stay in the system long enough to cover the refugee convoys. Regretfully, there's only enough space on the transports and shuttles to accommodate a tiny fraction of the population. The last convoy leaving Vega is currently en route to the Hell's Kitchen jump point. The Sparrowhawks have been escorting the convoy and have called in for backup. The Bloodhounds are being sent in. Alpha Flight will be Phalanx, Viper, Grey Wolf, and Sandman. I will be Bravo Leader with Cat Killer, Zorro, and Ice Fire. The colonists' lives depend on us being at the top of our game. Don't let them down. Dismissed. Proceed to next waypoint. Bloodhounds, break and attack! Ships, resume course. Proceed to next waypoint.
Simpson, this is Boz. We're here to help out. I'm reading you loud and clear. Couldn't be a better time, Boz. I just lost Clover and Thea, and we're banged up pretty good. Roger that, Major. Can you still fight? We're out of missiles, but we still got guns. What have the cats been using, Sparrowhawks? Not the usual dark cats which are all neat. They've been using the heavier stuff. Pops. Even if you Takan showed up last time. Can I do a workout if you ask me? Yeah, something's not right about this. Convoy, report status. This is transport ship Halo Round. The civilians are scared, but they'll be okay. <laughs> well, pretty intense. Ah, that was quite impressive. <laughs> Established. Proceed to next waypoint. That's all of them for now. Hopefully. Proceed to next waypoint. Capship missiles! They must really want these guys!
You just intercepted an open kill Rathi fighter to fighter transmission in your area. I'm patching the translation through. You might want to hear this. He's somewhere in the convoy, cowering behind all the other fools. Let no way to sleep alive. He? Who is he? Convoy, who is it you have on board? I don't know what you're talking about. We're just a refugee convoy. Cut the BS. There's a reason why they've been sending wave after wave after this convoy, which a few of my pilots died protecting, mind you. I don't know. We're just carrying women and children. The Kilrathi don't send torpedo bombers after women and children. They send them after valuable targets, like carriers or something else. Spit it out now. Okay, okay, we'll confess. One of our transports is carrying Governor Houseman and his staff. Great. Just great. You're telling us that the governor of the entire Vegas sector is on this convoy. Correct, pilot. So, tell us, which transport is he on? Sorry, but I won't do that. If the Kilrathi are listening to this channel, they'll pinpoint it. That's why we put his transport among this convoy. You better blend in with the refugees and attract less attention. Yeah, good job hiding it, you turd. I just lost two pilots due to your little game. Well, Major, would your men have fought any differently had they known the governor was on board? <laughs> Proceed to next waypoint. First fighters, then bombers, and now capital ships? Hermes Control, this is Bloodhound Squadron. I'm picking up several destroyers pursuing the convoy. Requesting additional orders. Over. Understood. We're working on something here. Stand by. Just great. Bloodhounds, try diverting the destroyer's attention. Hopefully, like us, they don't know which transport the governor is in. Hermes <laughs> fighters, this is the TCS Bradshaw. The Hermes has informed us of your problem. We're closing in our scoops and we'll be there shortly. Well, you guys better make it fast.
Metzel here. I'm taking hits. Civvies, huh? Not in our backyard. Thanks a lot, Bradshaw. We owe you one. Mission complete. Pilots, we just got word from the diversionary strike. Good news. We finished off the one heavy carrier and got two cruisers and a destroyer. So, what's the bad news? We took some major casualties. The Kilrathi fleet is now in an elliptical orbit over Vega. Our last reports indicate they're starting orbital bombardment. Sorry to sound harsh, we all have our orders. Vega system's about to fall, we have to cut our losses. We better get out of here before the Kilrathi turn their attention on us. We'll take Governor Hausman and the convoy with us. We'll hand them off to the Third Fleet. Hermes fighters, we relieve you of this convoy. We stand relieved. Get back to the Hermes. She's already moving towards the Proxima jump point. Good luck, guys. Proceed to next waypoint.
We have another strike force inbound, pilot. Much larger than the previous one. All fighters land immediately. It's been two hours since we jumped out of Vega and have received a preliminary report from a scout the Bradshaw left behind in the system. The Karathi bastards commenced a full-scale antimatter bombardment on Vega Prime. They didn't even bother to land troops. They just glassed the place and moved on. We expect the casualties to be high. There's no point blowing smoke up your asses. We lost, and we lost bad. The Karathi had us outnumbered. But there's no excuse we can make that will make this retreat feel any better. The only good news is that both the Hermes and the Bradshaw escaped. If our carriers had been lost, more colonies would have suffered the same fate as Vega Prime. Due to recent losses, the Brass is shifting squadron assignments around. Lieutenant Markham, you are being transferred from my squadron to the 544th, the Hell's Archers. I assure Lieutenant Colonel Gerhardt that you will serve him as well as you have served me. Get some rest. We are currently en route to Proxima base to heave to for repairs and to resupply. We will then take this fight back to the Kilrathi. In the name of all the innocents who perished today, we will pay those bastards back tenfold. <laughs> We've received word from Vega Fleet Command that three days ago, Prince Thrakath's battle fleet launched a bioweapon attack on Lakanda 4. Similar attacks have been reported in the Trafalgar and Delius systems. These actions have stunned most of High Command. Not since the opening exchanges on Replita have biological weapons been used in this war. The regional death toll on Lakanda 4 has exceeded 10,000 with a virus-related mortality rate of 100%. To prevent the spread of the viral agent throughout the Confederation, the entire system has been placed under quarantine. A new variable has been thrown into the mix of the war. Unless we act quickly, a decisive Kilrathi victory is imminent. As a result of the bioweapon attacks, TCN headquarters is ordering the fleet to evacuate all non-essential systems and regroup in systems of more strategic importance. As we speak, the TCS victory is on our way to the Black Main system to cover the evacuation of the naval base there. We have also learned that Confed's plan for a diversionary strike on Alcor during our last action has failed. Kilrathi anticipated this move and ambushed TCS Langley and TCS Cowpens during their approach through the Hellspont system, allowing the Kilrathi to strike at Vega in full force. TCS Cowpens has been destroyed, and the Langley is in full retreat. Make no mistake, we are between the proverbial rock and a hard place. Unless we can devise a military solution for dealing with these new Kilrathi advances, 
Terran Confederation will be forced to recognize the Kilrathi's control over half of the entire Vega sector. With the losses we have sustained recently, we are facing a significant shortage of fighters. We have spent the last eight days engaging in field repairs here at Proxima, and the cruiser Astoria has departed for Earth. She'll spend some time in dry dock before joining us again in about a week. As we wait for more supplies and new fighters to arrive, our battle group is now in a position to assume duties for perimeter patrol work and convoy escorts. Welcome to the Hell's Archers, new pilots. I am Lieutenant Colonel Gerhardt, your new squadron leader. This is a highly skilled group of professionals you're joining, and I expect the same level of professionalism from each of the new additions. Due to the recent events in Vega and other besieged systems across the front, Proxima has become a regular crossroads for refugee and medical ships. The Kilrathi seem to have picked up on this, and, from an unknown base of operations, are launching attacks against these helpless convoys. We have only a limited number of fighters available due to the attrition of the past few weeks, but Colonel Walker's launching all available wings to help bring these civilians in. Alpha Wing will consist of Assassin and Sandman. You will launch from the Hermes and rendezvous with the hospital ship Tranquility at Nav-1. She's inbound from the Monroe system and carrying hundreds of troopers from the 5th Marine Division. You are to escort her to Fort Pegasus, one of Proxima's orbital stations at Nav-2, where she'll unload the wounded to their medical facilities. Upon seeing off the transport, you will transit back to the Hermes. Bravo Wing will be Ninja and Razor Wire. Alpha, you are cleared for takeoff. Hermes Command. Any update on the Karathi's base of operations? Something this slippery has got to be a force recon unit of some type. We can theorize about all this when people aren't dying by the transport, full lieutenant. Commence your mission. Proceed to next waypoint. for the cover. Requesting autopilot link up. Autopilot link established. Proceed to next waypoint.
Job saving our bacon. Return into formation and proceed to the next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. Seems to be the current trend. Get those destroyers on dock. They are no good to us sitting there. Escort, go help them. We'll just stay right here. Die, you burnish freak. All systems are full power. We're moving out. Load missile tubes one to eight. Target the nearest Corvette. It's fish in a barrel tab. Hermit spiders, take out the bombers first.
space fighters. Thanks for the escort. We can take it from here. Alpha Wing, sensors say you've got a clear ride to the Hermes. Mission complete. Proceed to next waypoint. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. Lieutenant, the Jarhead commander on that medical transport wanted me to pass along that you're welcome at his Marine's chow table anytime. Apparently, it's the only time he's given this invite to a wing wiper. Personally, I'd respectfully refuse. Have you ever seen a squad of Marines eat? You have clearance to land. I've never heard a Marine Commander praise a couple of pilots like the one aboard the Tranquility is going on about you two. I'm mildly impressed myself. Saving a transport and then its destination, which just happens to be the main command base, is not a bad day's work. We also repulsed an attack by the Kilrathi at Fort Pegasus, which makes for one wonderful report to HQ by the commander of the base. In any case, good job today. Stay sharp and don't let it go to your heads. We're not finished in Proxima and your melons still have to fit in Nero's cockpit. And finally, we still don't know the location of the Karathi's main forces. Dismissed. Listen up, Squadron. We have several evacuation convoys due through Proxima and transit to the inner world. As you may know, the cats recently plastered several colonies and surrounding systems and we will have over a hundred thousand civilians passing through here in a few hours. The next convoy, this one from Cambria, will be jumping in at 1700 hours. It consists of a number of transports and a single frigate. They are all heavily loaded with refugees and of course a prime target to any cats left in the system. I will command Alpha Flight with Sandman, Assassin and Ninja on my wing. We will launch from the Hermes and rendezvous with the convoy at the Krieger jump point. From there, we will take as direct a route as possible to the Sirius jump point, skirting a Confederation minefield in the process. We will then hand over the convoy to the picket forces from the Third Fleet. They'll take it from there. Be advised that we still have Kilrathi lurking in Proxima. Several convoys have already met light resistance, and Intel still doesn't know where these forces are coming from. So stay sharp. Major Wright will be leading Bravo. Alpha Flight, you are clear for launch. Your path to Nav-1 is clear. Get those people to safety. Let's head to Nav-1. Proceed to next waypoint. received the latest. Bears are getting sixth this weekend. You know as well as I do that's a trap game, Chaffee. I'll pass. You're kidding, right? You're getting six. I think that in a heartbeat. <laughs> Anyone interested in the pack giving too? Cut the chatter. It's an escort mission, not a sports bar. Picking up multiple contacts. It's them. Content Fighter Patrol, this is the Frigate Simmons, Captain Sahara in command. Colonel Gerhardt, Hell's Archers, DCS Hermes, what's the situation? We've been bogged down by faulty engines and raiders. We haven't lost any ships so far. We'd like to keep it that way. Feelings mutual. Alpha Flight, take up escort positions with the convoy.
Autopilot link established. Proceed to next waypoint. Targets, targets, targets! We've got a small group of cap ships coming up slow. Roger that. Prepare to intercept. They've dropped off the scope. Colonel, should we engage? Negative. They're hanging back, shadowing us. We'll stay here with the convoy and call on the strike. Hermes, this is Hell's Archer Alpha. We're being pursued by a small raider force, reporting contact with multiple light cap ships. Request anti-ship strike. Colonel, all available bombers have been committed elsewhere. Negative on your request. Looks like we're going to play the waiting game. We'll stay with the convoy and let the cats make the first move. Until then, engage autopilot. Proceed to next waypoint. Simmons, how's your anti-ship loadout? Let me put it to you this way. We've offloaded most of our missiles and torpedoes to accommodate more refugees. Back in formation, archers. Proceed to next waypoint.
Back in formation, archers. Proceed to next waypoint. Continue on course. Proceed to next waypoint. Formation archers, continue on course. Proceed to next waypoint.
The varsity's closing in for a bombardment. They must be out of missiles. I believe you're right, Ninja. Simmons, if you have any remaining missiles, the time is now. Archers, engage! Meet command, that appears to have been the last of the raiders. Our scope is clear now until the jump point. Copy your last, Simmons. Proceed to next waypoint. point.
Nice mission, pilots. Doesn't it feel good to protect Confederation citizens directly? There are no middle objectives, no abstract orders. We just protect those we have sworn to defend. Actually feels like we made a difference today. I have to admit, though, actually seeing the jump point to Sirius is a little unnerving. Having our backs this far against the wall doesn't sit well with me. It is definitely one hell of a reminder why we need to get back out there and take it to the cats on our terms. Pilots, dismissed. At ease, Hells Archers. We have numerous reports of Kilrathi still hiding in this system, and we are still trying to find their base of operations. The last few squadrons came up with Zip. The 544th got their latest patrol duty, and if we want to flush out the Kilrathi's main hideout, we've got a lot of area to cover. I will be dispatching several patrols to cover as much as possible. Assassin, Sandman, Night Eyes, and Fade, you will be Alpha. Your assignment is the Hermes far right flank in the Gamma Quadrant. You will fly a standard diamond patrol of these three nav points. The last nav point will be the Krieger jump point. Once you are done, return to the Hermes. Bravo Wing will be... You are cleared for takeoff, Lieutenant. Proceed to next waypoint. Fighter's not coming up in the registry. What the hell is this? You rat bastard, this is supposed to be the other way around. Jesus Christ, they're pretty nimble. Not to mention having guns pointed in every direction. Porcupines. Because no matter which direction you face them, it hurts. Proceed to next waypoint. to next waypoint.
Alpha, thanks for the assists. We all took some dings, but we're okay. Porcupine, meet Ninja. Ninja, meet your doom. You know, I'd rather call it Iron Butt. Hey, that would be a great name for a rock band, don't you think? Well, I think so. I'd listen to that band. Alpha and Bravo, you two will be working together. Proceed to Bravo's last point, then proceed to Alpha Wing's original route and finish your sweep. Roger that, Alpha. Our last nav point is your nav four now. Hit it. Proceed to next waypoint. Area's clean. You can relax a bit. Proceed to next waypoint. Guys, I think we found our long-lost friends. Hermes, we have one enemy cruiser near the jump point. Request anti-ship strike. Over. Bravo 1, as you know, we're low on anti-ship capabilities. We'll see what we can scrounge up. on portside cruiser. Blow him out of my sky. I aye, aye mom. Target locked. Command wire.
mess with Armageddon, Kitty. Your world ends. TCS Hermes fighters, thank you for fitting them out for us. Armageddon, this is Fighter Patrol from the TCS Hermes. Thank you for your assistance. We've been pursuing these cats for the past couple of days. You guys definitely get an assist in this one. Hermes Arrows, we we'll take it from here. Pass this message along to your Captain Moran. Tell him that this makes us even. Hope you have a good trip. Mission complete. Clearance, TCS Hermes. Looks like you made some new friends out there, Lieutenant. Both bad and good. You have clearance to land. No matter the time or day, I always believe that no routine patrol is ever routine. What you guys experienced today reaffirmed my beliefs. Intel filled us in on the new fighter you encountered today. It's a new type of super heavy fighter. Some of you guys have already come up with some rather inventive names for it, but the official code name is Sorthak. Probably the first Kilrathi fighter in which the rear has as many guns as the front, and its speed and maneuverability rivals even the Hellcat. I don't want to see this thing mass-produced, if you catch my drift. The bad news is that, while we encountered this new Kilrathi fighter and ran into several other Kilrathi patrols, we're still unable to find the Kilrathi's main ship in this system. If anything, those two cruisers you guys helped take down were reinforcements. For the good news, the Armageddon has been sent from the Third Fleet to reinforce Proxima's defenses. Her fighter wing will be taking over most of the patrol duties from now on. Judging by how she handled those cruisers today, I'd reckon she'll be a great assistant. For the meantime, get some rest. Let's get down to business, archers. To bring our complement back to full strength, Fleet Command has ordered the TCS Langley, a survivor from the Hellespont disaster, to transfer her remaining fighter complement to us before she continues on to Seoul for repairs. The Langley has already jumped into the system and is making her best speed to the rendezvous. Command doesn't want her to be in system longer than she needs to be. The Brass wants her repairs to begin promptly so she can rejoin the fight. We are to oversee the transfer and make sure it goes on without a hitch. Most of our escorts are either finishing up repairs at Proxima base or securing the Black Main jump point, so our fighter support is crucial. Also, it doesn't help the situation that the fighters being transferred are heavy on damage. The Langley just doesn't have the resources, so we're getting second-hand merchandise that will be almost worthless in a combat situation until our mechanics can get their hands on them. Alpha will consist of Sandman, Assassin, and Ninja with me in the lead. We will proceed to Nav 1 and rendezvous with the Langley, escorting her back to the Hermes. Once the Langley is rendezvoused with the Hermes, she will transfer over fighters and pilots. Once complete, the Langley will leave the system and we will make preparations to get underway. Even with those cruisers the Armageddon trashed this morning, Intel still believes there are significant cat forces in the system. Stay on your toes. Dismissed. <laughs> Let's head to Nav 1. Langley should get there by the same time as we will. Let's do it. Proceed to next waypoint. Jesus, 
Looks like the entire flight deck's been cooked. It's been a while, Gerhardt. Still flying those frail pieces of junk? I can still fly rings around you, Kib. I can still outgun you. Who are these guys? The Tsunamis, one of the best thug units in the fleet. Elite status, commendations galore. <sighs> that didn't seem to impress the cats in Hellspot. I heard that, you snot-nosed little bastard. Gerhardt. You better keep your boy in check, or I'll impress the armor right off his hull with a few trigger squeezes. Even if the second lieutenant is missing the filter between his mouth and brain, he has a point. What the hell happened out there, Kim? Hellspawn was a complete slaughter. Two heavy carriers and their battle groups came from two jump points simultaneously. We were simply outclassed. The cow pens went down really fast. We lost the rest of our force in the retreat. The Langley is all that's left. Autopilot link established. Proceed to next waypoint. This is the Langley. Ready to start the transfer, Hermes. What's on the menu today, Langley? Our hangar deck has a mighty hunger. Oh, we're transferring over nine arrows, 11 Hellcats, six Thunderbolts, and five Longbows. They've seen better days, but it shouldn't be anything your mechanics can't handle. Sorry, but we're keeping the Tsunamis. Nothing personal. They've saved our asses too many times to give them up. Don't worry, Langley. We understand. pursuing you. It shouldn't have been. We torpedoed the crews are tailing us. These are just decoys. Leave them to us. Agreed. Wing, maintain your objective. Cover the fighter transfer.
for the arrows and hellcats. Now for the heavy stuff.
We got company. Bad company. Carry as a too ripe a target for a strike this small. Hermes, I think we found your long lost friend. One light carrier on attack approach. You fly like the thing that you are. Hold them off, Major. Our deck is littered with fighters that aren't battle worthy. That carrier's ignoring the Hermes. It's gunning for the Langley at full speed. Kamikaze run. <laughs> that cat commander must be getting off right about now. Hermes, we just had an explosion in our engine room. Our engines are inactive. We need a few minutes for the repairs and cannot move out of the carrier's way. I repeat, we cannot move out of the carrier's way. <laughs> Don't worry, Langley. He'll come up empty-handed if we have anything to do with it. Hermes and Olympia will engage the carrier. Sandman, Ninja, you two go and support the tsunamis against that carrier. You must stop it. Sandman and I will worry about the bomber. Yes, sir. We're on our way.
Astrid's fighters on board, our respective homes in one piece. I'd say that's a mission accomplished, Gib. Nice working with you again. Likewise. Your boys aren't so bad either. Even the mouthy ones. Good job. We'll need those fighters where we're going. You have clearance to land. Good job out there, archers. The Langley has jumped safely back to Seoul, and Colonel Walker has informed me that we've received enough fighters to keep us in the fight for a while. The mechanics are working around the clock to get them ready for combat. That light carrier we encountered today was definitely the Kirathi's base of operations in Proxima. Kirathi presence in this system should now be near zero. The Armageddon will take over from here on out. We're on our way to Blackmain now, where we will receive our new orders. Until then, pilots, take a break. We aren't on the duty rotation for another 24 hours. Dismissed. It appears that the rumor mill has been producing a rather bleak view of our current situation as of late, especially after the latest news on the Kilrathi Blitzkrieg attack against Bistango 10. You all know what I think of rumors and those who spread them. However, I do think it is my responsibility to help set the record straight on issues that may affect your morale. I want you to keep something in mind. None of you know exactly how the war is going. In truth, things may be worse than you imagine, or they may be better. The only thing you have any certain knowledge of, and any control over, is the part of the war that is in front of you now, and the missions and objectives that are given to you. If you cave to the rumors and approach the war as if it was already lost, then rest assured, you will lose, and let down not only your fellow comrades here, but also many good people back home who need us to turn things around. As some of you might already know, we had a visit from a courier ship from Sector HQ today. On board was a special envoy carrying new orders. The Kilrathi's escalation to the use of bioweapons has been a wake-up call to all of us, and Confed is not turning a deaf ear to that call. Rest assured, we shall retaliate. The specifics of our counter-strike are still classified. What I can tell you is that our orders are to survey the sector for a suitable target planet. This means extensive recon work, checking defenses, and surveying planets. This must all be done discreetly in order not to tip our hand to the cats. Therefore, rather than utilizing a large strike force, five individual carriers will be sent to recon the prospective systems. Our friends from the Bradshaw will go to the Hawkins system while the Kinney will deploy to Nephilim. The Victory and Ticonderoga will do reconnaissance in Ariel and Tyrell May using the Caliban and Selenos nebulas for a covert approach, which the light carriers are well suited to carry out. The Hermes has been assigned to the Lokai system. We are already underway. Stay sharp, people, and keep your eyes open. We are operating behind enemy lines with minimal support on this one, and every bit of intel we bring back has the potential to help us finally end this war. One more thing. The scout ship Jim Bowie is joining us for this operation on loan from Fleet Intel. She has a special operations team on board should the situation call for their assets. They have the highest security clearance and even I do not know their true names and military background. If they ask for your assistance, you need to drop whatever you're doing and comply. Moran out. Morning, archers. We're minutes away from jumping into the Loki system. This is enemy-controlled territory, so we're expecting a toasty warm reception at best, and a flaming hot one at worst. Alpha Flight will be Stingray, Sandman, Ninja, and Assassin. You'll launch from the Hermes the moment she secures from jump stations. The rest of the archers, as well as every other squadron on board, We'll have fighters prepped as well. We will be deployed depending on the tactical situation. The Jim Bowie and John Paul Jones will be jumping in as well, but the rest of the battle group will hang back in Blackmane to take part in something else that the skipper has cooked up. Alpha, once the immediate area is secure, you will proceed to Nav 1 and Nav 2, clearing a path for the Hermes. Enemy patrol ships and sensor buoys are primary targets. The Jim Bowie will be jamming both nav points, so the cats won't be able to get a message off or get a fix on our forces. 
But the greatest danger to this operation is a fighter identifying us and escaping. Once this sweep is complete, you'll rendezvous with the Hermes near one of the system's asteroid belts at NAV-3. From there, you'll escort the Hermes into the asteroid field to an appropriate hiding spot. Only when the Hermes is secure can we begin the recon operation. Questions? Dismissed. Jump point secure. Jim Bowie, were any Kilrathi notified to our presence? Negative. The cats were unable to penetrate the jamming field. Understood. We are proceeding with our mission. Alpha Wing, proceed to NAV-1 and start your sweep. Proceed to next waypoint. Thank <laughs> you. 
Area secure. Proceed to next waypoint. the last of them. Proceed to next waypoint. Hermes, Archer Alpha reporting in. On station at NAV-3. Roger, Alpha. Everything's going according to plan. We're proceeding toward the asteroid field. The clutter from the asteroid should help mask our radar signature. We should be ready for phase two. Jim Bowie, are you in position? We've reached our station. Proceed with the next phase. Inform the rest of the battle group. Roger that. Activating jump probe. Probe has entered the black main jump point. Confed warships jumping in. IFF is consistent with the Olympia, Fletcher, and Bentley. We have ceased jamming and the new arrivals are pinging the system at maximum output. Cats definitely see them now. Are the cats taking the bait? This is as close to a kick me sign as our ships can get. Stand by. The cats are taking the bait. We're now detecting vector changes of at least four vessels in the system. They're converging on our ships. I take it the cats don't know about the Hermes. Negative. They're making no indication that they're aware a carrier has infiltrated the system. It appears we have the enemy ship's hook and line. Captain says it's time to drop the sinker. Foxtrot, Gulf. You are cleared for launch. Light up that billboard. Roger that. Confirmed. Longbow 902 under power. Hermes and John Paul Jones proceeding into asteroid field. Alpha Wing, maintain close escort and destroy any indigenous objects. Indigenous objects? You know, asteroids. inside the asteroid field. Got it. All fighters engage those bombers. Oh, and uh, try not to run into any asteroids, guys.
systems setting passive radar and detection systems array to maximum range and sensitivity Hermes the remainder of our battle group is playing chicken with the attacking vessels your fighters and bombers should enter the fray in a matter of minutes Roger Jim Bowie we had them on our scopes you can now proceed with our main objective understood Hermes entering communications blackout Archer Alpha Archer Bravo is cycling up to relieve you of cap duty you are cleared to land Excellent work, Alpha Flight. Recon missions are right in the arrow's sweet spot, aren't they? Their low RCS is better than all the armor in the world on these clandestine operations. We just received word that our forces slipped in behind the distracted cats and decimated the enemy force, taking out three corvettes and a destroyer. Our escorts are en route to rendezvous with the Hermes now. We don't want to stay in Loki any longer than we need to, so expect a lot of sorties in a very short amount of time. Being one of the Aero Squads on board, we're going to get most of the work. Dismissed. Loki has long been an advanced staging area for Kilrathi raiders. From Loki, the Kilrathi have sent numerous raiding parties into Blackmain, as well as Sector HQ at Torgo. Today, we're going to show them that we will not tolerate any more of their intrusions. These are the type of missions that I personally take pleasure in. Several buoys that the Jim Bowie deployed picked up signals of Kilrathi raiding groups en route to other systems. Regardless if they are passing by from another system or launched from the base at Loki 6, we're to make sure they never hit the jump points out of here. Me, Sandman, Ninja, and Assassin will be Alpha. Foxtrot Wing from the Bloodhound Squadron will also join up with us. We will proceed on a search and destroy through NAVs 1, 2, and 3. When we approach for attack, the Jim Bowie will jam their transmission so they won't get any word out. However, all the jamming equipment in the universe won't do any good if a single Kilrathi fighter escapes. So let no one live. Once we're done, we'll return to the Hermes. <laughs> Alpha and Fox 
astronaut wings. Form on me. Let's go raid a raiding party. Autopilot link established. Proceed to next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. Sir, my computer reads troop transports. Sandman Ninja, those transports are headed for the jump point. See if you can take out their engines. Got it. Sandman, I'll take the close one, you take out the far one. Last one to take out the engines, uh, sucks.
Proceed to next waypoint. Incoming enemy fighters. Looks like a flight of Darkhead and backed up. Copy that. All fighters, you are clear to engage. Gerhardt, we've picked up communications from a large Kilrathi force coming back from another of their worthless sideshow raids into Torgo. We've also picked up a Kilrathi tanker unit moving into rendezvous with them. We've updated your nav map with Nav 4 to be the rendezvous point. We'll jam their transmissions as you approach, understood? Roger that. All units, let's play ambush. Proceed to next waypoint. Target, any target! Break an attack! Picking up two capital ships. Are you sure we can handle this? Looking at the readings, they're just barely holding on. Let's be the straw that breaks the camel's back. You mean Kitty's back? Suck it, Dorothy. All of you, less talking, more killing.
Watch out. He's right behind you. Mission complete. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. Nice job on the ambushes. And not just that. Just imagine the confed lives you guys saved by taking out those units. You have clearance for landing. It's good to be the hunter and not the hunted, isn't it? Disrupting their normal traffic routes in and out of the system has paid off. We did everyone a favor by crashing these so-called raiding parties before they even had a chance to break open the beer. We just got word that that Corvette squadron you guys waxed were on their way to Blackmain to raid the colony there, especially since the naval base is being evacuated. You just saved a million colonists from impending doom. In addition, the troop convoy at NAV-2 were and I emphasize on past tense, reinforcements to the Imperial Garrison and Alcor. That's 2,000 Kilrathi Marines that will never fire a laser rifle again. Finishing off that cruiser and her escort is also great news. Intel has just identified the cruiser as the KIS Yahalag. From what we heard, she didn't get very far in Torgo before they had to break off and retreat. They managed to slip away from Torgo's defense forces, but not from you. The Sparrowhawks will be taking over the patrol duty. Until then, eat up and drink up. Loki 8, a gas giant, has long been a major staging area for the Kilrathi refueling fleet. Latest surveillance indicates that Kilrathi tankers have been using the atmosphere for a filler-up on an around-the-clock basis. I'm sure there are plenty of ships that could use that fuel. Well, today we are going to hamper their fuel movements quite a bit. Our battle group has moved closer to Loki 8, and we will send wings to sweep all of the known supply routes to and from the nearest jump points. There is expected to be Kilrathi convoy traffic trying to get past our blockade, and we will make sure that does not happen. Alpha Wing will be Ninja and Sandman. You have been assigned to sweep the tanker route in Loki 8's Delta Quadrant. You will start your sweep at Nav 1 and move on to Nav 2, where one of our destroyers is on station. Finish your sweep at the Nibelheim jump point at Nav 3, then return to the Hermes. Alpha, you are cleared for takeoff. Let's go, Sandman. Proceed to next waypoint.
Proceed to next waypoint. Fletcher, this is Alpha One. Looks like we've got some fly swatting to do. We'll take the fighters. Roger that. We'll take the trash movers. This will be like shooting fish in a barrel. Go with the fighters. <laughs> Scope's all clear. We'll take it from here. Roger that. Let's proceed with our mission, Sandman. Proceed to next waypoint. Look sharp, newcomers. Picking up several bandits. We're coming within range of a Kilrathi convoy with escorts. Just in time, eh? Free kitty asses for everybody! Woohoo!
That's it for the convoy. Looks like we got them before they had a chance to respond. Patrol's done, returning to base. Proceed to next waypoint. Alpha Wing, we have a courier ship that's taken some damage. You two are the closest to the region and the fastest. Proceed to the courier ship at once and render assistance. Roger that, Hermes. Let's go, Sandman. Proceed to next waypoint. Hermes arrows, I could use some assistance. Roger, Sandman, break an attack. Navigation's been shot to pieces, so I'd appreciate an escort to the Hermes. You heard the man. Let's head home. Proceed to next waypoint. Mission complete. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. Lieutenant! Destroying two tanker convoys and saving a courier vessel? I'd give you a medal if I could. You're cleared to land. Good job on this mission. A fleet can have all the carriers and warships in the universe, but without the fuel to deploy, they are no better than a mobile gun platforms. We did a good job of screwing the Kilrathi out of their fuel routes. Intel has assured me that Kilrathi fleet movements will be severely hampered by this setback. I just got word that we're wrapping up operations here in Loki, and we'll be departing the system within the next 24 hours. By all accounts, our mission here in Loki was a complete success and we're ready to move on to other things. Captain Moran wanted to give a big Bravo Zulu and a party for all the work we've done, but we're still behind enemy lines, and we need to keep our edge. One more thing, Ninja and Sandman, the courier from Torgo HQ that you saved today, Captain Rayner, wants to see you immediately in the lounge. Since he said all your drinks are on him for tonight, I'm giving you two the rest of the duty day off. You two deserve it. Get out of here. I want to extend my congratulations to you for your excellent work in Loki. A recon there has provided some crucial information for Confed Command, and it seems that we have located a planet that fits the criteria that Command was looking for. May I also remind you that any and all information about our recon mission in the Loki system remains classified and is not to be passed on to anyone in any form. 
After all we risked on that mission, we cannot allow loose lips to jeopardize whatever command intends to do with the information we gathered. Some of you may be aware of our recent encounter with a courier ship. That ship was carrying classified information and orders from Torgo. While we were scouting out the Loci system, the TCS Kinney was conducting a similar recon mission in Niflheim. Apparently, communications with her became sporadic, as if she were being jammed, and then were cut off entirely. Since we are only one jump away from the Niflheim system, we have been ordered to proceed there with all haste and investigate the situation. Since we have the Special Ops Scout vessel Jim Bowie with us, we will be using her special equipment to help us discern the situation in the system, locate the Kenny, and render aid as needed. Let me emphasize that we are jumping into a potentially volatile situation with no hard data on what we may run into. We are behind enemy lines and there will be no reinforcements available for us. We are the reinforcements. We must be at our very best and on our guard for any surprises the Kilrathi may have in store. Moran out. Afternoon, archers. In the few hours we've been in the Niflheim system, the scout Jim Bowie has been combing the area in hopes of striking gold. Fifteen minutes ago, she detected a large amount of signal traffic emanating from the asteroid belt near Niflheim 3. The electronic signature is big enough to be either the Kinney or some sort of large Kilrathi cap ship. But then again, it could be a ruse by an electronic warfare Zartog. We know that this tactic has been used effectively against Confed forces in the past few months, most notably in the destruction of the Wellington. So keep your eyes open on this one, pilots. Colonel Walker has ordered two of our longbows and a double escort of arrows to check it out. Alpha Wing will be Assassin, Sandman, Ninja, and Thade. You will proceed to the edge of the asteroid field at Nav-1 and continue in to investigate the unknown source. Major Ramius from the William Tells will be in command of the operation and will be Bravo leader. I will be leading another flight to investigate a second region of activity. You are cleared for launch, Hells Archer Alpha. Go solve a mystery for us. I think a more interesting mystery is why you won't have that drink with me, Sweeney. Anyone who has ever met you can solve that little enigma, Sherlock. Now clam up and let's get this done! All fighters, follow my lead. Proceed to next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. Asteroids are moving. Of course they're moving. Asteroids drift around, rookie. No, seriously, these asteroids are moving like fighters. Yeah, sure they are. Now the 
asteroids are shooting at us. Oh, baby, you're right. Looks like they were fighting as built on those asteroids. There's more of the asteroid bastards around us. That's what happens when you try to keep up with me. God damn it, it's a trap. You must cover. Hey, watch out. Like Sweeney won't have to keep turning him down now. Let's continue our sweep. Tech Force to Nav 2. Proceed to next waypoint.
That's one big fool! William Tell, Bravo leader. Bravo, we've been attempting to gain contact with you for half an hour. What's going on? We made contact with an enemy carrier and asteroid base. The carrier and the base have been eliminated. Incredible work, gentlemen. Come on home. Set course for the Hermes pilots. Engage autopilots when we are clear of the asteroid field. Mission complete. Impressive work, archers. Major Ramius passes along his regards and a job well done. I never knew that the Kilrathi would do something like outfit an asteroid to be like a fighter. I've seen stranger things. I also have to say that knocking out a raider base that has been terrorizing Torgo for weeks was a large dab of icing on the cake. Good job. You three and Night Eyes are on Alert 5 status for the archers for the next five hours. But after that, Ramius wants you to join him for a victory drink in the lounge. I don't know about you, but all the kind words in the world can't take the place of a well-deserved beer. Dismissed. Hell's Archer Squadron, this is Colonel Walker. Your squadron's on standby alert. And as you know, your birds are prepped and ready to go. The Jim Bowie has finally been able to make contact with the TCS Kinney. She's been ambushed by three Kilrathi carriers each throwing their full complement of fighters and bombers into the mix. Even though we've taken out an asteroid base and a heavy carrier, this system is apparently still a hotbed of cat activity. The Kinney is one of our few fleet carriers left on the front. If she goes down, so does a significant percentage of our power projection in this part of the sector. She's already lost more than two squadrons of fighters and the destroyer Algeria. I'm deploying the entire Hell's Archer squadron even the spares, immediately. The Olympia's black sheep have sent over Captain Anderson and Lieutenant K, and one additional arrow to fill up the rank. I'll be leading the mission. All remaining squadrons will prepare for a magnum launch. Our objective is simple. Save the Kinney at all cost. <laughs> SOS. I'm uploading the coordinates of their last transmission to all of your fighters now.
cats have a jamming blanket on her, Colonel. How perceptive, Lieutenant. Why don't I just promote you to Colonel on the spot? Ninja, you recognize that voice? Jesus, that's a Viking from the Wellington. What's he doing here? Probably asking the same about us. Kenny, this is Colonel Walker from the Hermes. What's your sit rep? Kenny here. We're reading you loud and clear. The last two attacks wiped out most of our fighter wing. The damn cats are moving in for the kill now. Who's coordinating the defense? CIC took a direct hit. Colonel Rivers, along with most of our senior wing off pilot, can you regroup? We're fighting for a chance to break free, Colonel. Do the best you can, son. Of course, sir. just went up. Destroyer Sims is gone. This is Kenny. We've taken another hit. This bucket is still holding up fine. Oh, come on, you cursed cat! Is that the best you can do? Colonel, Kenny's hull integrity has dropped below critical. Anyone sneezing hard enough has a good chance of bringing her down.
TCS Battle Axe. We're starting a sweep to retrieve all life pods. Give us cover. Wing, your objectives have changed. Protect the frigate and personnel shuttles. Where the hell was our support? You left us out here to die! Get the channel, Lieutenant. We're all on each here, and bickering is not going to make things any better. We'll bring the Kenny and the rest of the guys back. Yes, sir. Damn, he's still alive. I guess I still owe you that drink, Viking. Assassin, ninja, Sandman. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Catch up on reunions later, boys. We have friends incoming. Cruisers and a scout frigate just out of our visual range heading our way. No doubt they're keeping tabs on us. The rest of their fleet are behind them. In other words, time to get the hell out of Dodge. Major, I want your squadron to knock those cap ships back a few pegs. Affirmative, Colonel. Commander Sweeney, recall the other squadrons and have them take up defensive positions around the Hermes. I am not going to let them cats add another trophy to their war chest. Alpha Wing, escort the battle axe and all penny survivors home. 
Bravo wing will cover the left flank. I'll take Charlie and flank right. Autopilot link established. Proceed to next waypoint. protection as quickly as possible. Let's hope the other fighter wings can keep them away from us. Proceed to next waypoint.
operational. We'll close in the scoops for a quick sprint to the Hermes. Agreed. Let's get out of here. Proceed to next waypoint. Survivors from the TCS Kenny are sick bays filled with the injured. Request permission to transfer some of the injured aboard the Hermes for treatment. Affirmative. We will arrange for shuttles to transfer the wounded. There's only a handful of fighters from the Kenny left, and then there are only the survivors of the battle act picked up. <sighs> it doesn't get any easier, no matter how many times you go through it. Guess you weren't there with us when the Wellington bought it. I'm just glad we were here to bring you home. Thanks. It's good to be alive. I just... <laughs> Never mind. How about those drinks you guys owe me? Now don't start that up. Wouldn't want us to regret saving your butt back there. Life's too short for waiting, assassin. I'll tell you what. You just keep watching your backside, Viking, and I promise I'll buy you that drink someday. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure the lure of you buying him a drink is the only thing keeping him alive, Sandman. I'll agree to that, so long as you just keep out of trouble so I can collect someday. Down on it. Alpha Wing, thanks for bringing the survivors in. You are first in line for landing. Make sure to clear the landing area as quick as possible so we can bring in the damaged fighters from the Kenny. TCS Kenny pilots, you have our condolences. The Kenny fought hard and went down with honor. We are honored to have you join us on the Hermes. We are gathered here today to pay our last respects to the honored men and women of the TCS Kinney those who have fallen to protect that which we hold dear. We mourn their loss and vow that they have not died in vain. They now return to the stars from which they came, but their memories will live with us forever. May these stars serve to remind us of their sacrifice and of our duty. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, amen. Crew of the Hermes, they say that every event is a lesson, every bump in the road a learning process, every defeat a victory in disguise, an opportunity to learn, adapt, and overcome. It's the nature of what we are as a species. No matter how dark a night becomes, we'll always find a way to succeed, and the sun will always come up in the end. There's not much we could have done, boys. <laughs> I hope that brings you more solace than it brings me. We may have to move on and accept what just happened, but that sure as hell doesn't mean we have to like it. Captain Snyder, the senior surviving pilot from the TCS Kinney, informed us that it was a skipper missile strike that disabled the Kinney in the first place. The rest went downhill from there. We'll get those UTAC bastards for this. That, I promise. You did a good job in bringing the survivors home. Part of winning this war is living to fight another day, even when everything else goes wrong. Right now, we just have to make sure we don't share the Kinney's fate. Stay alert. We're still in the cat's backyard. Dismissed. This is Captain Moran. We've jumped into the Caliban system in the hopes that we can shake off our tenacious pursuers who have continued tracking our battle group through Segalian. We only spent 12 hours in Segalian, and thankfully, the transit was uneventful. As you are all most likely aware, this system is right in the middle of the Caliban Nebula, which makes long-range detection and tracking virtually impossible for both sides. While there is a Confederation presence in Caliban, it's little more than a remote outpost. Though heavily fortified planet-side, this base offers little refuge to ships in orbit. 
No doubt the Kilrathi trailing us, finding very little to worry about from this remote settlement, will continue to pursue us into this system. In addition, they have most likely already alerted any hostile forces that might already be in system to our impending arrival. Due to these factors, instead of diverting toward the Confederation outpost, we will continue to Torgo by the most direct route. This crew has continued to fight valiantly in the face of unimaginable adversity. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Continue to give me your best, and I promise we will prevail. Moran out. Welcome to the 564th Mudshark, Sandman. I'm Major Delaney, Squadron Leader. As everyone does, I know you have reservations about being assigned to our unit. Do not be intimidated. It is true that we have the highest death rate in the fleet, and you are here to replace some combat losses. But we do our jobs with honor and perseverance. Your experience should carry you through your time here relatively unscathed. We've jumped into the Caliban system to shake off our pursuers, who have yet to slack off after pursuing us all the way through Segelian. This system is right in the middle of the Caliban Nebula, and you know what effects a nebula like this can have on our senses and tracking systems. Due to these effects, we have very little idea about what we are about to face in the system as we continue our retreat to Torgo. No doubt a Kilrathi trailing us will send hunting packs to search us out, and those who might already be in the system have already been alerted to our impending arrival. Since we have no idea what we are to be up against, Colonel Walker is giving the brunt of the work in the system to the heavy fighter squadrons. Our Thunderbolts are a natural choice against anything short of a cruiser. Two elements of Thunderbolts are being deployed from each squadron in three-point patrol patterns. Psychopath and Sandman will patrol the Alpha Quadrant and Alpha Wing. Avatar and Eight Ball will cover Beta and Bravo Wing. Two wings from the Stormlords, Charlie and Delta, will cover Quadrants Gamma and Delta. You will hit these nav points and terminate any hostiles encountered. Remember that this is a game of hide and seek, and the losers die. Godspeed. Alpha, you are cleared for launch. All wings, I'll be periodically asking for check-ins during this mission. We wouldn't want any lost sheep out there. Hey, Mudshark rookie, don't get killed on your first op. Oh, oh man, and you're flying on Psychopath's wing? I don't know who to feel sorrier for. You know something? They don't call you butt cheeks without a good reason. You son of a bitch. You are so dead when this op's over. You fight me. Bring it. That's enough. Both of you, stand down. Now make myself clear. Clear as a bell. Yes, sir, Sandman. Obey my orders. Fly at a level somewhere above Shitbird. Don't get in my way and we'll get along fine. Right. You need a wingman. Who else but me would be watching your back, sir? It's not that. I just don't trust you to watch my back yet. So I'm gonna watch my own. I'll watch yours too. If I have enough time. Oh, so you think I'm expendable, huh? We're all expendable. Including me. Get used to it. All right, let's punch it. Set course to nav one. Proceed to next waypoint.
patrols, report status. Alpha Wing here. Still alive. Bravo Patrol here. Quiet as a mouse. Early here. A couple of black fighters are now in pieces. Alpha Wing checking in. No contacts. Cap here. No targets yet. Let's continue with our mission, Sandman. Proceed to next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. Patrols, report status. Alpha Wing here. We've encountered a Corvette and a bunch of escort fighters. They're dead. All dead. Bravo here. We encountered a Darkit and a Corvette. They're straight. Charlie here. Dispatch four Bravo. Cap here. No problems. Delta still has not checked in. Alpha and Gamma Quadrant patrols. 
We're adjusting your homeward life forces to sweep through a portion of Delta Quadrant. Navigation computers should now be updated. Proceed to next waypoint. I'm not picking up a thing. Set course back to the Hermes. You know what to do and how to do it. So do it. Proceed to next waypoint. One French fried frigate, fresh and made to order. Well, that's enough fun for one day. Let's get back before your luck runs out. Proceed to next place. Mission complete. Welcome back, Alpha Wing. It looks like the new addition survived its first trip as a mud shark. That's just today. Wait till tomorrow. Request permission to land, by the way. One minute. Colonel Walker wants a moment with you. Lieutenant, did you happen to hear anything from Delta Wing? 
Negative, sir. We did find a frigate in Delta Wing's patrol area, though. It's toast. Burnt toast. Understood. Carry on. You are now clear to land, Mud Shark Alpha. Not bad for your first mission as a mud shark, Lieutenant Markham. Navigating the nebula takes the utmost concentration and skill, and both you and Psychopath managed not only to make it home, but you came back with quite a few kills under your wings. You also took out a scout frigate, and because of that, the Kirathi's efforts to find us fell through. A heavy fighter seems to suit you, Sandman. Not every patrol was as lucky. Delta Wing from the Stormlord Squadron has not reported in, and is assumed lost either to the nebula or the force you intercepted in that patrol zone. A rescue operation in the nebula is a million to one shot, but the Jim Bowie is still attempting to locate them. As for right now, we're listing butt cheeks and increment as missing in action. We're not through the woods yet, so stay on top of things. We're still not in Torgo, and I don't think the cats will let us go quietly if they can help it. Dismissed. Recent updates reveal that the cats are still gunning for us, hot and heavy. The Kirathi have spread themselves out so they can search for us better, but the Nebula is also hampering their efforts as well. Analysis indicates that as long as we can avoid them, they will not reach us before we jump into Torgo. Although this is the case, both the Captain and Colonel Walker would like us to be out of the system quickly. We've dispersed our escorts farther from the Hermes. This way, they'll have a better detection range, so we'll have a more thorough picture of what's going down. Each camp ship is covering one part of the Hermes flank, and we're sending in several flights to keep them company and to give general support. Alpha Wing will be Avatar and Sandman. You two will be working with the Jim Bowie instead of a warship. She's taken a position far from the battle group, and is currently monitoring the no man's land between the Hermes and the last known Kirathi positions. As before, you will take any orders from the scout much in the same way you take orders from me. Think about women. I resent your tone. You know, when this war is over, Sand Dude, we all gonna have to put in a lot of hours to repopulate the human race. I guess I just have a stronger sense of duty than most people. Till then, just keep in my morale. So if you're walking by my bunk and hear a female voice scream, Yes! Yes! It's just positive reinforcement. I haven't really thought about the end of the war. What are you gonna do till then? Cut the chatter, pilots. Keep a tight formation and look out for each other. Let's hope you get home alive. Avatar, to next you waypoint. are hopeless. Proceed to next waypoint.
That's the last of them. Resume formation and proceed to the next waypoint. Autopilot link established. Proceed to next waypoint. Contact starboard bearing 87, positive 14. IFF is negative. Assumed hostile. It looks pretty big, so get your torpedoes ready just in case. Descended. That one's flying our colors. Your ship in question is not Dorothy. It is Confed. I repeat, it is Confed. They aren't broadcasting an IFF signal. Must be crippled. Hail them. Confederation Light Cruiser, this is Thunderbolt Alpha 1. If you got me this message, please respond. No response. Confed Light Cruiser, this is Thunderbolt Alpha 1. If you copy this message, please respond. Still no response. Alpha 2, move in closer. Get a scan on that ship. Dembo, we my scope's reading human life forms. We got survivors on board. We better put a rush on that. No power, no life support. Alpha 1, can you get an ID on that ship? All right, hold on. Let me just take the camera off its normal <clears throat> girl's locker room setting. Scanning. The app is shredded. I can't find a name anywhere. Hey, wait. I think I can make out a whole ID there. Let me adjust the mag on that. And... Got it. LCA-237. Repeat, whole ID, Lima Charlie Alpha-237. Roger that. Running the numbers through all known databases. Stand by. Thunderbolts. Can you... hear us? This is Avatar. I'm getting a signal. It's very weak, short range, no video uplink, just audio. Roger that. I'm amplifying the reception for you guys. I'll be listening in and relaying to the Hermes. Alpha One, start talking. Copying you, Confed Light Cruiser. Please state your ship's name. TCS Challenger, LCA-237. Skip it by Captain O'Leary. Part of the 23rd Independent Division, 7th Fleet. All right, who is this? Hospital Corbin, 3rd Class Shunpi Rashid. Thunderbolts, what's your carrier and its location? Don't tell them. Might be a trick. He checked out, by the way, if he is who he says he is. Challenger disappeared without a trace two weeks ago. Alpha-1, proceed. Somewhere in this system. So, what's the story, Challenger? You look worse than a freshman girl after her first frat party. Intel pinpointed a transport carrying a special cargo and assigned us to capture it. We found the freighter in the Delia system and disabled it. We then docked the ship and found the cargo online. We were loading it onto the ship. We were attacked by three destroyers. During the fighting, the cargo ruptured and our guys left it behind, escaping back to our ship. We undocked and fought our way out of the system. Our reactor finally blew out just as we jumped into Caliban. And that's when the crew started coming down. The symptoms. I knew it. Bioweapons. Alpha-1, proceed. Damn it. How many of your crew were exposed? We quarantined the ship, but whatever we got, it is airborne and it spreads fast. Only a handful of us escaped infection long enough to put on biohazard suits. The rest? They died a slow, horrible, painful death. They suffered every second. This virus had a 100% mortality rate on us. The officers, the chiefs, all of the crew. Only ten of us are not infected. I'm transmitting an information packet over to you guys. This has records of the infection, symptoms, the works. Everything about the virus, we recorded it to the end. Packet received. Let them know the Hermes is launching hotel wing and a shuttle with a biocontainment crew. All right, we're on it. Just hang tight, Rashid, okay? Thank God. You've got to make sure we're okay first. This virus, it did to my friends. I wouldn't release this even on my worst enemy. 
Jim Bowie, what are we going to do with the cruiser? Destroy it or try to salvage it? Too early to tell. The clock, Pinky. Kilrathi fighters, Alpha Wing, hold them off. of our sensors. There's a destroyer approaching. She's going to dock with the Challenger. She, do you copy? There's a destroyer in a docking approach. Okay? Hang tight. We're going to get you guys out of this. I thank you, friend. But from what we're hearing over here, it appears we aren't going anywhere. You guys can't hold all these cats forever. No, no, Rashid. Listen to me. There's absolutely no part of this that is a good idea, okay? And you heard what I said before. I would never unleash this virus on my worst enemy. That includes to kill Rathi. Thunderbolts, destroy us. One more torpedo hit will be enough to finish us off. That's suicide! We won't leave you behind! You don't have a choice. From our position, we can't self detonate. We can't vent the ship. If the kill Rathi folds us, the virus will spread. The kill Rathi will gain another cruiser for that fleet. And we survivors will die slow, painful deaths. He's right. You have to destroy the Challenger. Prevent the ship from falling into enemy hands. Wipe out all physical evidence of the infection. It's the right thing to do. Copy that. Anything you want to say to your wife or your kids while I still got the comm open? I'll make sure it gets to them. That packet we sent you also had all our statements in case something like this happened. Tell our families that we did our duty. Alpha 2, 
Take her out. Roger that, sir. established. Proceed to next waypoint. Looks like you guys are in the clear. We're done using you. You're cleared back to the Hermes. Jim Bowie, what about you guys? Isn't that carrier breathing down your necks? Don't worry about us. I'm sure I'll think up something. You heard the man, Sand Dude. Let's head back to the barn. Proceed to next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. GCS armies. I heard it all over the comms, Lieutenant. What a terrible thing that happened. What you did in the end is an order I don't know if I can follow. But whatever happened, they are finally at peace now. You are cleared for landing. I've been able to convince Captain Moran and Colonel Walker that, as an ONI officer, I should debrief you first before they begin their inquiry. I'll get to the point. First off, Lieutenant Alistair and Lieutenant Markham. You two obeyed my orders without question, even under very disturbing and troubling circumstances. I've already vouched for you two up your chain of command. Second, you will keep your mouth shut about what happened. This entire incident is on a need-to-know basis, and there's not any more people out there who need to know. I'm sure Scuttlebutt will spread around the ship, but when you're confronted by your peers, you will neither confirm nor deny. I've already had your flight recorders purged. Off the record, though, you already know about the bioweapon attack on Lakanda, so I'm sure you two can figure out what happened to the Challenger. Next off, don't put much concern on that carrier group you encountered. By means that I will not reveal, two of their destroyers are now gone and the carrier is crippled. The other ships are slowing down to tend to their mothership, and they lost our trail in the process. I wouldn't want to be that kitty carrier captain once he reports to his superior that he lost us. So, for now, the Hermes is in the clear. That about does it. It's time for you to go see Colonel Walker. They might be a bit hard on you two. After all, it's not every day that a pilot destroys a friendly cruiser. Just remember this. You followed my orders. You did well, and you did right and nothing they can say will change that. Okay, Mud Sharks, I hope you're ready for this. The Hermes is making final preparations to make the jump back into Torgo. We'll move on to a little snag. 
The Jim Bowie has picked up indications that they have two destroyers picketing our jump point out of here. That's where we come in. Alpha Wing will be Psychopath, Avatar, Sandman, and 8 Ball. You will be responsible for taking out the picket destroyers. Proceed to Nav 1 and clear us a path out of here. Due to the number of conditions in our short time left in the system, the rest of the Mud Sharks will be on cap duty, especially with the Karathi breathing down our backs. Bravo will be myself leading Dishwasher, Sunfreak, and Ickle. We will launch with Bloodhound's Charlie Wing and proceed to the engagement point. You all have your assignments. Good luck to us all. Dismissed. Cleared for launch, Alpha Wing. Sweep us a path. Waypoint. I've got bandits, two destroyers, and a squadron of darken. Hey, look, it's three of us and eight of them. Oh, odds look pretty good in our favor. <laughs>
Serious? Cool. What do you mean, cool? We're trapped here. Keep it calm, Sandman. Say again, Alpha Wing? You said the jump point is closed off? I'm not kidding, Hermes Control. The jump point is just not there. Seriously? We need some orders here. So do I. So do I. I'm notifying the Skipper right now of this, uh, predicament. have a problem. We got a solution. We've been monitoring this area for a while, but yeah, the jump point ain't there. No, 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 no. Look, this is a jump point, not some sock we left at the dryer. You can't just disappear. The electronics on this ship aren't magic, pilot. If the answer's not there, it's not there. You have to look elsewhere. Well, what can we do about it? There have been rumblings that the Gilrathi have been working on masking jump points in nebula conditions. Theoretically, this ability would take loads of power, because of the nebula conditions couldn't be projected over a large distance. We spent the last few hours thinking about a solution, and we got one. Get down to it. What's the bottom line? There's a generator nearby. Find it. Kill it. Wow. My life has purpose again. We plotted up a short search pattern based on possible deployment areas for such a device. Relaying it to your nav computers. Good hunting. Uh, Hermes, we're beginning searching for the little turd burglars. If we're alive, maybe we'll give you a ring or something. If not, well, see ya. Jim Bowie has filled us in. Make it fast. Our forces can't hold the cats on our back door at bay for much longer. Proceed to next waypoint. Heads up. We have enemy fighters vectoring in. Split them up and take them down. Proceed to next waypoint.
nothing but kitty litter here either. Let's hope we find that magical generator before our fuel runs low. Proceed to next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. Mission complete. Whatever you did out there, Mud Shark, everyone on this boat owes you a drink. Hell, I'll buy the first round once we get out of here. You are cleared to land. Outstanding work, gentlemen. The pucker factor on that mission was definitely at the higher end of the scale. Both flights performed above and beyond a call of duty. Alpha, that was quick work on that jump point fiasco. Without your efforts, this battle group would have been in a bad way. Same goes for Bravo. Without our stalling, those escorts would have run up right up the Hermes' backside. I'm putting you all in for consideration for the Bronze Star. Unfortunately, Sunfreaks would have to be awarded posthumously but his life partner should appreciate the sentiment. Our hard work over the past few weeks will finally be met with some hard-earned wreck time. While the Hermes and our escorts are undergoing repairs and the battle group is being replenished at Torgo, 
the entire crew will be able to enjoy a few days of shore leave on the base. This is the sector headquarters, so all the comforts of home should be readily available. It's been a long, hard road, Mudsharks. Enjoy the time you have. There are definitely more steps in front of us than behind. Dismissed. This is Captain Moran. I know our recent encounter with the Kilrathi and their apparent closing down of a jump point has left some of you in shock. It has come to my attention that there are rumors beginning to spread across the ship that this new Kilrathi ability will cost us the war. I want to make something very clear. We are now certain that the Kilrathi are not able to actually close down jump points. We were not the only Confederation ship to run into this problem with the Kilrathi. The TCS Victory was attempting to exit the aerial system when they found that the jump point there had mysteriously disappeared. Fortunately, she was able to find another jump point and escape. The Victory dispatched a report to Torgo HQ. Their analysis turned up sensor traces consistent with the use of cloaking generators. Intel believes that a big enough generator can project a cloak that can mask out something as large as a jump point. But it only works in a nebula and it is damned hard to maintain even then. This means we won't be stuck the next time out. It might take longer, but we could use a cloak jump point provided we already have it thoroughly plotted on our charts. Our recent recon operation in Loci, our attempt to save the TCS Kinney, and our little game of cat and mouse in the Caliban Nebula have taken their toll on our equipment, material, and personnel. Fortunately, we have been authorized to be refitted and repaired in the Torgo system. We are due for some R&R, &R, and if we are lucky, maybe even some shore leave. Keep in mind, R&R and, &R and shore leave may be recalled at any time. So make sure to take advantage of the downtime while you can. The Astoria has finished her repairs in the dry docks near Earth and has made her way to Torgo. She has been fully refitted and reloaded, and once our battle group has finished its repairs, she will join back up with us. The Astoria's firepower is a welcome addition to our offensive and defensive capabilities. With the completion of our recent objectives, the Special Operations Ship Jim Bowie is needed elsewhere and has left our battle group. May I remind you that any operations you participated in that involve the Jim Bowie are classified and are not to be discussed with anyone without proper clearance, including any attractive young member of the opposite sex you may run across and want to impress on shore leave. Moran out. Morning, gentlemen. Now try not to talk too loudly. I take it each of you have had an early morning altercation with a corpsman with injector full of the green goo? Sorry to interrupt your leave, but even though Torgo's fighter complement is handling the local camp, the top brass sword of the Hermes to resume normal shift rotations. The admirals are playing their cards close to their chest in this one, but it seems they have something bigger than an ace up their sleeves and are concerned with Kilrathi intervention. Avatar, you and Sandman will be taking the Mudshark's first shift. You're going to be flying a four-point patrol route, hitting the jump points to Delius, Loki, and Silenos on your way to a jump point located deep inside the Torgo system. Once these areas have been secured, return to the Herbies. Sunshine, how's life flying these lovely convent skies? Meeting an exponential increase in anti-graviton levels. Dump disturbance forming. Same old, same old. Not much action today. This is Transport Bonham, outbound from Delius Base. 
We've got Cap right behind us. Look at all those pretty red dots. for the assist, Thunderbolts. This jump point is secure. Set autopilot for the Loki jump point, Sandman. Proceed to next waypoint. Autopilot offline. Picking up one friendly contact. That's us. Welcome to the Loki Jump Point, the gateway to the front lines. Getting in touch with our little drama queen, I see. It's been... slow. Nice change of pace from our recent outings. We may have spoken too soon. Jump Point forming. Reading one kill Rothi destroyer coming through. All hands, battle stations. Hey, Sand Dude, let's make sure these little children get home from school. Look at all those pretty red dots. Thunderbolt flight. I think we can hold the line from here. All right, Sandy. Let's set course to Nav Three Way. Uh, I mean, uh, Three Nav Three. Uh, I think I covered that one well. Proceed to next waypoint.
support Alpha Flight. Hey, no problem, okay? Sandman, you ready to secure the ass end of Torgo? Well, since you put it that way, sure. Proceed to next waypoint. Coming up on the coordinates. Damn! Ev, are your sensors on the fritz? Yeah, I think there's a cracked out gerbil in my scope or something. Avatar, I see it. Over there. It's a prowler. Yeah, slippery little bastard, isn't he? I know well looped when I see it. I think he's putting out some sort of damper field. The entire thing is saturated. Nothing outside can see in. Wait, wait, that's probably too complicated for you. Think of this area as your prom date's bra. You never did get to see what was behind it, remember? Confederation Thunderbolts. There is no Gilwathi presence in this region. Transmitting an information packet. See that it is delivered to Torgo Command under a tight beam relay. Please vacate the area. Sociable, isn't he? Packet received. Come on, Sandman, take course for home. Mission complete. Proceed to next waypoint. Shark Alpha returning from patrol. Welcome back, Alpha. You have something for me? Uh, my eternal love and devotion? Oh, and this packet I picked up. Transmitting now. That's an affirmative, Alpha Leader. Packet received. Bar is still open. Hey, sounds like a plan. Hermes Command requesting landing clearance. Can I interest you in a roofie colada or two, Miss Sweeney? Sorry, boys. I still have a few hours on duty. You have clearance to land. Throw back one for me. Good job out there, mud sharks. Nice to have a milk run for a change, eh? I'd say there's still a drop or two of surely still left on Torgo. Just remember to check the duty roster before you go under the station drive, will you? Dismissed. Okay, you've had some good downtime at Torgo. Now that our squad is back on shift rotation, it's back to work. We've been losing radar contact at this area around the jump point. What's weird is that the picket forces there aren't reporting any Kilrathi contacts jumping in. This place is a black area. All the patrols we sent in haven't reported back. It's definitely Kilrathi, but we got no readings on our location or size. We're sending in a reinforced patrol this time. Alpha Wing will consist of Sandman and Avatar. You two will work with Hotel Wing from Torgo's 346th Fighter Squadron. Rendezvous with the Hellcats at Nav 1, then sweep the area of patrols. Once you're done, rendezvous back to the Hermes. with our mission, shall we? Proceed to next waypoint. Hazard near. Autopilot not allowed. Avatar, I'm picking up several bits of hull wreckage. Could it be our friends? Scanning the wreckage? No. These are Arabs. The 346th were in Hellcats. What the hell did this to them? Probably stealth fighters. Even stealth fighters need to launch from something decidedly non-stealth. Got any ideas? I got nothing. Let's move on. Proceed to next waypoint. 
Proceed to next waypoint. Okay, we're here, but the 346th ain't. Who the hell are they? The plot thickens. Torgo Command, this is Alpha Wing. Got any tally on the last known position of the 346? I don't even speak static. I hate jamming fields. Now here's a thought. Maybe we should ask these incredibly murderous Kilrothi fighter pilots if they know what happened to our missing patrol. We iced the Zartoth already. Why aren't our comms getting through? Don't bother. Try. Long-range comms are down. Nothing is getting in or out. Hey, Sandy. I'm gonna tell you a secret, okay? I see dead Hellcats. Yep. 346th Squadron. The Fighting Cox. Fighting Cox? There's a Fighting Cox Squadron? Oh god, this is too good to be true. Alright, let me guess, let me guess. Your motto is... Always beating off the enemy, right? Actually, Hermes puke. It's bring it on. We'll keep coming. Do some research. Oh. Wow. That is wrong on so many levels. Looks like we got invited to another surprise party. Hey, what's not there to like? Another free ticket to see another of the cat's worthless sideshow raids. These raids happen on a daily basis? The Burbons sure enjoy keeping us on our toes. It's more music than anything. Okay, Hotel Wing, cut the chatter. Alpha Wing, we know the territory better than you. Follow us. Proceed to next waypoint.
Did anyone see Seymour buy it? Anybody? What about you, Thunderbolts? L look, he's your wingman. I got enough trouble keeping Sandy here in fresh diapers as it is. Damn it. We'll move on without him. All wings, form up. Proceed to next waypoint.
thunderbolts. See her at all? No. Something stinks about all of this. All right, let's get moving. Proceed to next waypoint. Still, even stealth fighters have to reveal themselves before firing. You have to be that good to go unnoticed. Yeah, that's my point. There is one who's that good. I think I know who you're talking about. Let me say something. We know you're here, Stalker. Come out and fight like a real cat. Come on, Stalker. Say something. Anything. You flea-bitten dirtbag. Don't even waste your time. He's not going to respond to human taunts. But let me give it a shot, too. You're this real fucking guy, Trin. Oh, whatever you said, you must have pissed him off. Yeah, basically, know that and how to ask which way did the litter box. Hey, Avatar, Stalker's brought some buddies. Just more cats for the kill board. Let's get them. <laughs> Sandy, do you see Stalker? I saw an explosion and then that's it. You know, I think we got him. Yeah, we can always see the camera footage when we get back to the base. Then we can... God damn it, my engine just went out. He must have caught me from behind and pegged me pretty good. The, um... It, it's not what it sounds like, okay? Avatar, are you alright? <sighs> we'll wait, I'm fine, okay? This is the McFall. We caught a bit of your message, and we came to render assistance. McFall, we've lost the entire 346th patrol, and my wingman has a non-functional engine. Roger that. We'll track to your wingman in. We've updated the Hermes on your situation. Sandman, you were ordered back to the Hermes. Proceed to next waypoint. Your 
enemies. Anybody, I'm under attack. Your kind of Jesus, you just don't know when to quit, do you? Let's go. Proceed to next waypoint. Mission complete. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. The cats penetrated the system deeper than we thought. Looks like that notorious Ace Stalker was in the mood to go on a personal hunting mission. Good thing we have pilots like you around. Lieutenant, what you did today was exemplary. You took on a notorious Kilrathi fighter ace single-handed and you survived. It's a shame that we lost four Hellcats and over a dozen other fighters today, but if it wasn't for you, Stalker would have got away with a lot more scalps. We had search and rescue go over every cubic foot of your engagement space with Stalker. We only found what seems to be the wingtip of a Straka fighter, but not enough evidence to support your testimony that it was destroyed. We cross-referenced this with your flight recorder. You scored a direct hit on Stalker's wings and damaged his fighter, but not mortally so. Sorry, Sandman, but we cannot confirm your kill. Colonel Walker wants to see you in his office after this, so dismissed. Let's get down to it. We've been assigned to relieve two patrols, one at Caliban Jump Point and the other at Lennox Jump Point. The Caliban duty belongs to Alpha Flight, consisting of Avatar, 8-Ball, and Sandman, with Psychopath in the lead. You will proceed to Nav-1 and relieve the patrol from the 346th Squadron. Lennox duty belongs to Charlie Wing, which Knox will be heading up with Dishwasher, Zorath, and Chance on his wing. Once we relieve the flights on duty, we will patrol the jump point until relieved by the next squadron. Any civilian cargo ships or freighters will be inspected for contraband. The brass believes Torgo is kitty-free right now, and they want to keep it that way. Dismissed. You are cleared for launch, Lieutenant. This is Frigate Ravens at Lennox Jump Point. A transport Julius jumped in a few minutes ago. It reports being pursued by one Corvette. Roger that. Take care of it. Confirmed. One Corvette in the system. We're engaging. Transport Julius. Retreat out of the combat zone immediately. Transport Julius. Elite from your current vector. We are engaged in combat. Transport Julius, you are on a collision course with us. <laughs> This is Frigate Alameda at the Elohim Jump Point. We have enemy task force entering the system. Send reinforcements. Over. All units, we have a kill Rathi incursion. Send condition red. Repeat, condition red. Sensors read two carrier battle groups. Oh, great. Not this again. Man, why does this stuff always freaking happen? Maybe they heard about the females we have here. God's own escort service is right. Alpha Wing, your situation has changed. I'll act as liaison between you and the top brass. Head to the rally point at Nav-1, where we're mustering our forces for a counterattack.
Proceed to next waypoint. Isn't this a family reunion? Ugh. I don't usually have a hangover at family reunions. That green goop they shoot us up with sobers you up, all right, but doesn't do anything for the headache. <laughs> oh, I would sympathize with you, assassin, but then I couldn't laugh at you. <laughs> oh, man, you choose to drink, and you have to take what comes with it. Thanks, ninja. You're a great friend. Remind me to slam you over the head with a frying pan when we get back to the Hermes. I can go for that. That way I can prove what I've always said about Ninja not having a brain. And that way we could also prove what I always said about Psychopath not having a soul. And about Assassin not having decent aim. And about the Hermes not having any frying pans. I mean, I've looked all over the ship. There just aren't any there. You think I'm joking? I'm stone cold serious. Guys, could you cut it out? Remember, I've got a headache and you guys aren't helping at all. <laughs> yep, like I said, just like a family reunion. <laughs> All wings, stand by for assignment. Looks like we'll have to wait until this mission is over for the awkward talent show portion of the family reunion. That's too bad. I was thinking of doing my ventriloquist act. Let me guess. You play the part of the dummy. Oh, nice. A little obvious, but uh, the timing was good. Ugh. As entertaining as this is, gentlemen, we've got a mission to fly here. Let's get back to it. Alpha, Bravo, and Delta Wings, you will be working together for this one, and I have updated your nav computers. Phalanx is in charge. A destroyer squadron has broken through several defenses and is approaching our last defense line in their path. If they break through, there's nothing to stop them from launching missiles at Sector HQ. You will skirt one of the minefields at Nav 2, then proceed to your destination at Nav 3. Good luck. I hope you didn't forget how to keep up with us while you played with those let's let's summer. Uh, let's dust some verbals. Proceed to next waypoint. hanging around in the asteroid field. We're gonna have to get in there and flush them out. Everyone, be careful. Yes, Mommy. to next waypoint.
You know what's at stake. Let's get him. Pursue, Colonel. Negative. We're low on missiles and high on damage. Alpha, Bravo, and Delta Wings, you will proceed to the Orsini jump point and immobilize the carrier. Don't let them leave this system. We're uploading the nav data to your computer. What about the unit at the Orsini jump point? We lost contact. Typical. Proceed to next waypoint.
Reactor's burning hard for the jump point. You pathetic descendant of monkeys. Torgo Command, this is Bravo Flight. We've got incoming friendlies jumping in from Orsini. Carrier Centurion plus escorts. Roger that. We've been expecting them. Nice to see a friendly face, Hermes fighters. We've been expecting the worst. We'll touch base later. Centurion, can you do something about that carrier? No, we're not to fight this battle Scum. Already on it. Sorry, kitty, but do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Nothing personal. You just weren't good enough. deep into Confed territory for an escort job. We've been doing a high-speed run for the past two weeks. Just to escort some convoy? Negative. It wasn't any damn convoy. So? Don't keep us in suspense. What have you been escorting? Well, it's not like you can ignore it when it comes through, so we might as well let you in on the secret. Yeah, tell us. You really can't say what it is. Might as well let you see it for yourself. It should be jumping in any time now. What in the name of God is this? Gentlemen, this is Confederation's doomsday weapon. Say hello to the biggest warship ever built by the Confederation. Say hello to the Behemoth. Hermes Fighter Unit, this is Torgo Command. 
What you have just seen is classified. You will forget that you've seen them. Torgo Command. Seen what? Fair enough. Head back to base. Proceed to next waypoint. Mission complete. Welcome back, pilots. Anything interesting to report? Besides whacking a bunch of cats? Nah. Nice work, boys. We picked up a huge disturbance at the Orsini jump point. Torgo Command is pretty tight-lipped about the whole thing. Only that it was... expected. You sure you don't have anything else to report? What have we got to hide, Sweeney? I guess I've thrilled you enough. You have clearance to land. Culture, this is Mallard team. Sensor buoy is activated, camera is calibrated, area is sanitized. Total sensor blackout in effect. Well done. Craig team is en route to relieve you. Return to home plane. Roger. Mallard team out. And with that, we have done the impossible. Hiding this big, giant thing. You expect this piece of garbage to win the war? Look at it, it doesn't even finish. It's Tolwyn. Enough said. That guy's always been a fan of dog and pony shows. Boss, what do you think? Does this thing have a chance? Hey, don't ask me, I just work here. Whatever happens, happens. Pilots, the fact that an ONI officer like me is holding this debrief instead of Major Delaney or Colonel Walker should give you some idea as to the secrecy that surrounds the Behemoth Project. What you've seen come through that jump point is classified and compartmentalized according to Conflict Security Article 61, Section 3B, and believe me, the punishments for violation are severe. You will forget what you have seen and you will make no reference of it in your after-action report. The intel guys should be erasing your flight recorders as we speak. All of the Confederation is on a need-to-know basis with this initiative, and at this point, neither you nor anyone else on board needs to know. Now to things we can speak of. The Kilrathi suspected we were up to something in Torgo. This was the first time in a while they've launched a major assault against us. And after the losses they've taken, it's also the last time they'll be pulling something like this in the near future. You did a fine job taking out that destroyer group. You saved the lives of everyone in Sector HQ. And that was some fine teamwork you did with the Centurion in taking out that carrier. Admiral Tolwyn gives a bravo Zulu to all those who have fought today. Colonel Walker informs me that for your efforts today, all of you will have the rest of your leave off, with no duty. I know you will be, no doubt, indulging in some liberty, either here on the base or on the Hermes, but I will remind you again to keep your lips sealed. A lifetime in military prison is a steep price to pay to try to impress some good-looking ensign. Again? Well done. Dismissed. All hands, this is Captain Moran. We've received a full report from Torgo HQ. Aside from the loss of the Kinney, Operation Prow Growl was a full success and I have now been authorized to tell you what it was about. The recent bioweapons attack on Lakanda and other systems was a real wake-up call. The Kelrathi are playing for keeps and they have abandoned any sense of restraint. HQ is going to hit back and we have no other option than to match, exceed, and overwhelm the Kilrathi's escalation. The key to that is the behemoth. The Behemoth is a series of linked superconducting energy amplification conduits focusing an output of 500 million gigawatts into one lancing point. 
Any target at the end of that point is destroyed, even a planet. We are going to use it. The details of its deployment are classified, but High Command is confident that deploying it as planned will bring Confed a final and decisive victory to this war. Prowl Growl was about finding a suitable target for a demonstration of the weapon's power, both as an operational field test for our benefit and as a warning to the Kilrathi. If the demonstration is successful and the Emperor decides to continue the war, it is possible that several of the Kilrathi clans may rise up in rebellion against the Emperor and the royal family who are already in an unstable position after the failure to take Earth during the Battle of Earth. If they will not be deterred by this show of force, we are prepared to deploy the behemoth in ways that will either force the enemy to their knees or, if necessary, wipe them out. Either way, Behemoth is expected and required to end this war before the Kilrathi have the time to build up for another strike that might finish us for good. We have just finished a high-speed run through several friendly systems to reach our present position in the field. As I said last night, we are to play the bait in this operation, and I know no better way to get the cat's attention than to walk right up to them and punch them in the nose. The main Kilrathi presence in this system is a captured Confederation forward base, Blue Point Station. Adding insult to their already wounding occupation, Intelligence believes this is another major raiding party hub for the cats. We've tolerated their filth on Blue Point's decks for long enough. Taking back the base intact, gaining a foothold in this system will enrage the Kilrathi far more than a simple raid on one of their battle groups, allowing the Behemoth to conduct its affairs free of intrusion from this flank. Stay sharp. The Behemoth may be the final play in this conflict, Focusing too much on the prize and not on the tasks at hand have felled many quests throughout human history. We have to make sure this doesn't go down as one of those missed opportunities. Moran out. Good morning, Mud Sharks. I hope you had a good stay in Torgo because it's time to punch back in. Captain Moran's unveiling of the Behemoth Project has had both an invigorating and lethargic effect on the ship's crew. This dreadnought may yet end the war, but there's no treaty being signed today. So we fight. It would be a damn shame to die this close to the finish line. Our light and medium fighter squads have been pulling most of the long-range patrol jobs since our arrival in the field. Now it's time for the real work to begin. Hotel Wing detected an enemy supply convoy heading towards Blue Point Station. They've called for reinforcements. We're it. Both Hellcats are currently shadowing the convoy, which is en route to Nav-1. We will rendezvous with them and assist in taking out the capital ships. Our ability to take Blue Point in the upcoming actions will depend on how well supplied they are, so our main targets are the transports, but any fighters and other light cap ships are fair game. We get in, we engage, we execute our orders, and we bug out. Alpha Flight will consist of me and Dishwasher. Bravo will be Psychopath and 8-Ball. Charlie is Sandman and Avatar. Dismissed. Oh, Sandman, one more thing before you go. Colonel Walker is authorizing you to adjust your weapon's loadout from now on. Congratulations on your promotion, by the way. You're cleared for launch. Squadron, let's reach Hotel Wing. Proceed to next waypoint. Damn it. Why the hell is Hotel Wing? Major, I'm picking up some debris on my scanners. All analysis is consistent with that of a Hellcat. Looks like they got hit. Army is discoding. Hotel wing is blown away. There appears to be no survivors. Understood, Major. Stand by. Continue your mission without them. No, oh, this is gonna be easy. You've got to go with the hand that's dealt you. Proceed with the mission. Straka! Those sneaky little bastards. Get him!
chat closing in for the kill. Break formation and open fire. Okay, men, we may not know where the convoy is, but we sure as hell know where they're going. I'm plotting a sweep that will cover all possible routes to Blue Point, the last nav being the base itself. Let's punch it. Proceed to next waypoint. You should be careful what you wish for. All fighters, engage the enemy. Let's make it quick. Let's hope that was quick enough. Return to formation, and let's get moving. Proceed to next waypoint. More fighters. Looks like these ones have seen some action. Finish them off, and let's move on. With pleasure, sir. Break formation and open fire! Breaking formation now.
Looks like we have a few more Karathi stragglers coming to join the fight. Roger that. Engaging. side of the convoy here. With the delays we've had with all these spiders, they must have made it to the station. Mud Shark Leader, be advised. Although the base is relatively undefended, there are several Kilrathi squadrons nearby that could be vectored in at any time. Get in, get the job done, and get out of there as quickly as possible. Affirmative, Hermes. Proceed to next waypoint. And attack. Squadron, we've caught up with the objective. You can run, but you can't hide, little kitties. Those transports are moving to dock with the station. We need to hit them before they deliver those supplies. <laughs> I agree. It probably wouldn't hurt to know exactly what's in those transports. Scan them before taking them out if you get the chance. But don't let them dock. What about those fighters? Avoid them if possible. Take them down if you have to, but our first priority is getting those transports before they dock. Help me out! Mud sharks, be advised. Kilrathi fighters are being vectored in your direction. You don't have much time. Sure thing, Mom. <laughs> Target. Lock it onto your target now. Good job, son. He's hurting me, but only because he loves me, right? Open fire on my target. Lock it onto your target now. Target. Lock it onto your target now.
target. Lock it onto your target now. Done here. Attack my target. Lock it onto your target. Break and attack. Let's kill all remaining fighters and then get the hell out of here. Breaking formation now. Target. Lock it onto your target now. Open fire on my target. Okay, guys, let's head for home before more bad guys arrive. Lock it onto your target <laughs> now. Form up on my wing. Sure thing. Hermes to Smudge Shark Leader. Request permission to land. Welcome back, Major. What's the status of the convoy? Deep fried, I would say. The Kilrathi presence in that area is getting pretty thin. It should be ready for us to move back in pretty soon. I imagine the cats have had their way redecorated station, though. Very well. I'll make sure not to book leave there until it has been cleaned and disinfected from top to bottom. You have clearance to land. Good day out there, mud sharks. Colonel Walker sends along his regards on a job well done. The materials that convoy carried could have kept the Kilrathi in the fight a little longer, delaying our ability to take the station. The loss of Hotel Wing certainly complicated this mission. Part of our job is to be prepared for the unexpected, but sometimes there are things that go on that are out of our control. Additional units have been sent after other transports coming into Nafil, and as soon as those flea bags realize they've been effectively cut off from their supply line, they should send out the SOS that will need to drag out the other Kilrath in the area into the system. Get ready, Ben. Our final assault in Bluepoint will commence soon. Dismissed.
Afternoon, gentlemen. Take your seats. We have to act on this fast. Another recon patrol detected a large convoy jumping in from Hareka. The Kilrathian feel know if they can't get these supplies, they will not be able to hold onto this piece of space for much longer. They've sent a large escort force of fighters and several destroyers in the system to help ensure that this convoy makes it to Blue Point. Colonel Walker will be leading whatever he can scrounge up off the deck on a strike against this convoy. Not all of us, however, will be joining him. Our unit is going to take advantage of the Kilrathi's tactical decision to split their forces. The hostile presence left in and around Blue Point will be lower than any situation we could hope for within the next few days. Psychopath will lead a four-man team consisting of Sandman, Avatar, and Eight Ball. Your objective is to escort a TCS Astoria and three shuttles of marines from the troopship Arlie Ermi to Blue Point at Nav 1. Once on site, you are to cover the marine shuttles commanded by Captain Coolen as they storm the base. Unfortunately, we do not have the time to suppress the fighter cover before the marines attempt to recapture the station, so you will have to protect the shuttles on the fly. The Astoria will be a great asset in dealing with the larger forces that may still be in the area. Once complete, you will contact the Hermes for further orders. Dismissed. Shark Alpha, you are cleared for launch. Get our station back. Will do, Sweeney. Form up and establish autopilot link with the cruiser. Autopilot link established. Mudshark, glad to have you with us. The Marines are already docked in our launch bay. We're just itching to blow some cats away. Proceed to next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint.
nicer when it's fur free. are going to be burning the midnight oil for the next few days. You're cleared for landing. Congratulations on taking back the depot, Alpha Wing. The Marines pass along their appreciation, sort of. I always have trouble hearing the thank you through the chest beating of a victorious Marine for some reason. We've sent requests for additional men and materials to begin getting Blue Point back together again. 
Maybe the people on the field, too, would be interested in helping restore the station. These border systems definitely get the worst of the war. I'm sure the Confederation flag in their space, not to mention their jobs, will definitely be appreciated. As you may have heard, our strike against the Kilrathi convoy was successful. Even though we took some losses early in the operation that changed our approach, we were still able to penetrate the Kilrathi's defenses and eliminate the convoy. Now that we have control of Nathiel, our mission structure will change drastically. I'll post the new assignments after 1800 hours. Till then, dismissed. Settle down, gentlemen. Let's begin. Our long-range patrols have pinpointed a Kirathi recon and force group that has just jumped in from the Loki system. We can only assume that they know about Operation Behemoth, as they are moving at maximum velocity towards the nearest jump point to a Kirathi held system. That can only mean they plan on returning with reinforcements. The recon group is made up of a light carrier, a cruiser, and two corvettes. The Hermes and Blue Point Station are combining resources to jam their long-range communications so they can't get a message off, but if they jump out and notify their main fleet, Operation Behemoth will have another major hurdle to overcome. We have no choice but to completely exterminate this force. We'll be launching a strike immediately. I will lead Alpha Wing, with Sandman, Psychopath, and 8-Ball. Hellcats from Bravo and Charlie Wings will fly cover, while we proceed on a Wild Weasel operation to disable the carrier and cruiser's turrets. Once they've been appropriately skinned, longbows will enter the area and do what they do best. We will proceed to NAV-1 and then to NAV-2. This indirect route will allow our group to place ourselves between the Kilrathi group and the jump point when we take up our positions at NAV-3. Let's jump to it. Dismissed. single minute. Proceed on mission. Roger that. Major Romanyuk, you guys take point. All units set course for NAV-1. Proceed to next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. next waypoint. Thank you. 
Capital ship down. We've got half of them so far. Stay focused. Capital ship. We've got most of them. Keep your focus. Behemoth will remain a secret for a little while longer. Excellent job, all of you. We just received some more good news along those same lines. Get back home, boys. Mission complete. Proceed to next waypoint. about, Sweeney? You'll find out soon enough, Lieutenant. You're clear to land. What a day, gentlemen, what a day. Let's dispense with the usual mission rundown for now.
The news you're about to hear is classified, but I'd be surprised if the rumor mills on the ship aren't buzzing with it already. If you haven't already heard, a courier vessel from the Victory came bearing some great news. The behemoth was successful in destroying Loki 6. From what I've been told, the footage is absolutely incredible. A more interesting development is that we aren't stopping there. Apparently, Command has some major plans for the Behemoth, and looks like we're going to be part of the action. The Hermes, along with the Centurion, are to rendezvous with the Victory Battle Group, and escort the Behemoth straight to Kilra. The furry bastards won't know what's coming for them. Imagine it, Sharks. The end of the war, and we'll be there to see it. Let's talk about the mission. You gave the Hermes another carrier kill, and made sure she went to hell with a proper escort. That's a damn good attack in my book. I know you're all itching to celebrate. Be sure and control yourself still, and watch your mouths to make sure you don't go talking about things you shouldn't talk about. I know all of you too well. It would be a shame to miss the biggest moment in human history because you want to brig for some reason or another. Dismissed. The time has come for us to rendezvous with the Behemoth Squadron. The Hermes will be jumping into Loki, and will immediately rendezvous with the Centurion at Nav-1. Both carriers will then meet up with the Behemoth fleet at Nav-2, and begin our march to Kilra. The Battle Axe is about to jump ahead of us, and make sure the coast is clear. Following standard operating procedure, we're keeping Elems from four squadrons on standby, in case something should arise. Once we jump in, flights from the Sparrowhawks, Bloodhounds, and Hell's Archers will proceed in a diamond pattern sweep around the fleet, while we provide close-in defense. Still, Exercise or not, I want us to be flawless, sharp, and crisp. Understood? Good. Dismissed. Time to play hero again, Grey Wolf. Got any hope left to speak of? Sorry, bro. Fresh out. Tighten it up, people. Stay on station. Here they come. We're outnumbered. Roger that. Okay, you flea-ridden bastards. Which one of you do I kill first? There's no time for jokes. All right, I'd like to take this serious. The pilot with the least number of kills after the dust settles today buys the rest of us a round of drinks and pays off first place as bartab. What do you think? Now that is something to fight for, Assassin. My bill can break someone's credit chip. Oh yeah, kill Ninja in on this. Battle Royale, baby. Deal us all in. Remember, ladies, last place may be buying, but there's still no points for second. 
indicate another strike on approach. They won't be on us for a few minutes. Finally, a gap in their attack. All ships make preparations for withdrawal. Miss Sweeney, start bringing our pilots in. Sparrowhawks, you're first in the queue. It's about time. Only back, Hawks. group coming in. Someone out there really doesn't like us. Our prince was right. This is a much more worthy target than that small piece of Harak the terrorists call a carrier. Um, thank you. This one shall not escape. Let their blood flow freely. I'm taking damage. <laughs> You are ordered to land. You heard her. Return to base. is first to jump. Hermes will be next once our last squadron has landed. Jones will cover the rear. This is the Olympia. We're not turning tail with the Hermes still under attack, sir. Power up your jump drives, Captain. That is an order. Roger, sir. Plotting jump solution.
got bombers coming in, at least as many as the first wave. Jump sequence, if you please. Jump transit in 90 seconds. Mud sharks, land immediately. No can do, Hermes. We still have more than our fair share of cats out here. Doesn't matter. You've done all you can. Move it. Where should I begin? What can I say? Operation Behemoth will go down as one of the worst military disasters in history. I learned a lesson during these dark times. Now can I say that I've seen war, its horror, brutality, its hard judgment upon those who deserve it and those who didn't. Why is it that I'm alive, but others so much more skilled and talented than me aren't? I ask myself that question over and over, and I don't think I'll have an answer to that anytime soon. But in all of this, I have learned something. There are no heroes in war, only survivors. We lost most of our battle group and barely escaped Loki by the skin of our teeth. And that is what passes for good news. We've received word that Prince Thraka led a sneak attack against the Behemoth and destroyed her. Luckily, the victory escaped. On the other side of the coin, though, Headquarters has still not regained contact with the Centurion. As you might imagine, the Confed High Command is in a state of disarray after this huge setback. Right now, they're taking the time to outline a new strategy for the front. We can't go off half-cocked after what just went down. Until we receive new orders, the Hermes is going to heave to for some quick field repairs at Blue Point Station. With the recent combat losses and no replenishment in sight, I'll be using the time to reorganize this fighter wing into something combat-ready. Until this has been drawn up, though, we'll proceed with the current arrangement. Squadron assignments will be posted within the hour. Dismissed. Sandman. With Avatar still in medical and 8-Ball in critical condition, you and Psychopath are the only pilots from the 564th available for duty. Our picket is reporting that the Kilrathi have finally decided to grow a pair and come after us. We have one heavy carrier and escorts closing in, and we've set up all available fighters to meet them. Blue Point Station received some new fighters, but they're still in need of some pilots. Your Thunderbolts are still in repair, so take a wild guess where you come in. Because of our short numbers, you two get to play Fire Brigade, reinforcing hotspots where other squads can't cut it. Commander Sweeney will be relaying your orders to you, but until then, 
you launch and provide a reinforced cap for the Hermes and Blue Point station. Understood? Good. Then let's go. ship is down. Just one Corvette left. Let's get it.
That's the last of them. Area secured. I think you've worn out your welcome here, Lieutenant. One of the other groups just requested reinforcement. Why don't you go over there and bother them? Proceed to next waypoint. Water assassin? We'd be fine if Beaker hadn't modded or Crusher wasn't riding the crazy chair at our last nav point. Think you can even the odds of it? Die, you burnish freak! Watch out, there's a guy in your six. Rest in peace. What are you doing, man? Check your six! The John Paul Jones has requested some fighter cover, and you guys are the closest. Your flights will proceed as one. All right, well, we had better get started. We will, of course, be later than usual, since you two are considerably slower. Up yours, Ninja. At least I'll still be standing when the gunfire stops. Proceed to next waypoint. Sensors picking up a Kilrathi like cruiser and lots of fighters. Easy pickings. We're gonna nail that sucker up close. Engine room, ramping speed. Arrows, keep those fighters off our backs. Sandman, we get to cover the tin can. <laughs> you still have torpedoes, right? Gone. 
Let's finish off those fighters. Looks like we didn't have to go suicidal after all. Our sensors are picking up some activity off our starboard flank. The Hermes have relayed requests that you check it out. Roger. All units. Set course for NAV 4. Proceed to next waypoint. Serious trouble. Ah! Hermes, we got a large bomber strike inbound your position. We could use a few more bodies out here. I'll see what I can do, Lieutenant. Sending every fighter in there. maturity a lot faster than humans. It's actually quite interesting. The female... Phalanx... Shut up. Zenbine threat has been neutralized, requesting permission to return to base. Your day is not over yet, pilots. Sensors have picked up more inbound fighters. Proceed to NAV-5 and intercept them. Proceed to next waypoint.
you guys, but I'm starting to run low on everything. Hey, anyone got any slingshots? I mean, we can take that and get some pebbles, you know? Aim and go big. You know, fight to kill Rathy back. It's the best way, huh? Our fighters have been dealt with. Good job out there, pilots. You went the extra mile for us. Return to base. Proceed to next waypoint.
Mission complete. Bravo, Zulu guys. You embody the new do more with less motto of the Hermes. We now believe that Nafil is kitty free again. Score one for the good guys. It's about time, too. We lost quite a few more good people today to keep the system under confed control, though. Damn. We already had to scrape things together as they were. We'll make do. We always have, and we always will. Mudshark Alpha, you are clear to land. Hell of a day out there, people. I'm sure the citizens of Nafil are breathing a large sigh of relief right now. Today our task force accounted for the destruction of over a hundred fighters, seven corvettes, five destroyers, and two cruisers. The carrier which launched the attack, which we just identified as the KIS Tapask, our longtime friend, withdrew from the system. Not too shabby for a battered carrier sporting half its fighter complement and two crippled escorts. Speaking of which, I've rearranged the squadron assignments to give us a fighting chance till we can be fully resupplied. The largest change is going to be among the Mud Shark Squadron, which will officially be disbanded. Its surviving members will be transferred to other squads. Other pilots shifting assignments will find their new orders posted on the flight roster. We also have some new orders. Intelligence has determined that the Kilrathi have slowly been pulling their forces out of Loki over the past two days. HQ has ordered the Hermes make a quick spin through Loki, searching for signs of survivors and gathering any intel we can on the fate of the Centurion. We still have not heard anything about our sister ship since just before the behemoth went belly up. We'll be jumping back into Loki just as soon as our Minesweeper units arrive. Make all necessary preparations, and those assigned the new squadrons, make sure to contact your new CO by 1800 hours. Dismissed.